Does it feel weird for anybody else that I started so damn late today? Like, I can't remember the last time I started streaming at like 4 p.m. But guys, what's up? Welcome back in. Happy Sunday, fun day. I no longer have squeegees. I'm going to be rocking these for a little bit. I might go back and forth, but yeah, no longer having to deal with squeegees. And my last headphones actually gave out. My little earbuds finally gave out. So we're switching away from it. But guys, welcome back in. Happy Sunday. Back to over the ear headphones. Look, I think that my ears are just not destined for squeegees. It's not happening. I know that you guys have thrown out some really awesome recommendations. So maybe down the line, I'll go back to them. But I just, these were really practical for like working at home too. And then also recording so it was like the best in between but yeah i know the time the time zone stuff has been so weird i also think that i said yesterday that i was going to stream at one because i didn't even i've been so used to starting at one so i think that's what i assumed when i ended last stream too uh let me start back up at the top too auntie what's up welcome back in jink was here zen some of you guys saw me in here for like the two hours before i started stream i actually was recording another video and Oh my gosh. I guess I can tell you guys the game that I'm playing, but I, you guys know I'm doing Ragnarok and I've been starting these like smaller and like shorter series as well. I started playing a game called Little Misfortunes and you guys, we almost played it for October last year or something like that. And it was, it's just so bizarre in the best way possible is weird, bizarre. I love it. So yeah, imagine knowing your own schedule exactly soon. <laughs> Soup, welcome back in. I know, I think it's because I actually, like, for the longest time, I think I kept my schedule so similar, and then now I'll just sometimes move the weekend streams like up or down and it just completely threw me off so yes i didn't even know my own skilly by the way thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row and welcome back in and i also see apollo this feels weird too because my previous earbuds, like I could still hear everything I'm saying, but the noise cancellation on these bad boys is so good that it feels weird not being able to hear my voice. I know that sounds, I don't know. It's like an adjustment when you get go back to like canceling, noise canceling earbuds. But I cannot wait to listen to Witcher on this. All of the Gwent sounds are going to be so much better. Little Misfortune is so good. I can't wait for that one. Yes. And that was the one that I just had more people recommend that one. And I've had some incredible recommendations since I uploaded the fall on Friday. And so I have those all in the list. You guys continue to surprise me with all of the cool recommendations that you guys threw at me. And Apollo, thank you so much for that. It's weird, though. I'm I get this phantom. I have been like adjusting my earbuds for so long that it's actually become a habit. So I want to like go up there and adjust them and I have nothing to adjust. Apo yeah, what? Oh my gosh, it's like a thing. Apollo, thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row and welcome back in. And yes, wait, oh, I forgot the season finales tonight. We'll probably be ending right before then. We're not gonna do like a crazy long stream, but I do think that we'll be able to finish the DLC today. I think that we're on to doing like one final task for Odin and then we'll, wait, Odum? Odin. Hold on, whatever, the man of mirrors, the mirror guy. We're doing one more quest for him and then I think that'll be the end of it. And also Frankie with the stretch. I also see Rockstar, wait, Rockstar. I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, I don't get much free time to actually catch up with you live, but today's my lucky day. Thank you so much for popping in and also for the continual support. Yeah, I have not seen you in so long. Mm, hope you're gonna enjoy stream or the season finale. So after today, I'm probably gonna prioritize finishing the season this week. So I'm gonna watch more of those videos, but yes, I'm definitely going to be catching up on that probably this week and next. But yeah, anybody that's actually up to date and watching, and I'm sure you guys are so excited for it's odam it is odam dark pass welcome back in cosmic with the reset for four months in a row as well cosmic welcome back in i see ng ng by the way i just made a blood orange um pound cake from trader joe's and so i just wanted to tell you about that because i know you're the fellow trader joe's enthusiast but the blood orange pound cake was so good and i don't normally like that stuff like i love lemon pound cake but i've never had i've never had it and it was awesome alpha i'm sorry i don't actually have the headphones assigned to it they're sennheiser movement fours i want to say and i highly recommend them they've probably been my favorite over the ear headphones if you guys remember like if y'all were here in the first like two or three years of me streaming i always did have over the head earbuds um or headset but then i went back yeah i went back to the earbuds and squeegees and I are just not destined to be together. Mr. Nine, thank you. Oh my gosh, the phantom. The phantom adjustment. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Mr. Nine, thank you for the follow and welcome in. And Drax with the reset for nine months in a row. Drax, thank you so much for the continual support too. There is no exit. There is no unsubscribe button. I will start building the temple of the worship to our queen, Ginger. She's actually in here catching a, catching a couple shut eyes in the, I'd say in the closet. So I think she might come out later. When she hears me talking, typically when she like knows stream started, she'll start loitering around me. Uh, Fizzbite, welcome back in. I also saw Yuzu, Victator, welcome back in. Darpass, Alex, yes, it's a blood orange pound cake. And I see Joel's, Joel's, welcome back in. Limpy, welcome back in. I see the mods, Lakers, Natty, Raging, what's up? Welcome back in. Leonardo, welcome back in. And also Bayer. Wait, Bayer, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row. And welcome back in. Dude, the Michael beat on the earbuds or on the headphones. I had to start this out right. What does that say? Had to start this out right. To be used only for <laughs> Bloomin' Onion. I need to get a Bloomin' Onion. I do. I need to. Seriously, Robert, thank you so much for the donation as well. It will 100% go to a Blooming Onion or the one at the Blooming Onion is Outback. But what is the, the cactus blossom? It's like the same thing at Texas Roadhouse. And yes, it's going to be a Texas Roadhouse sometime this week. Not tonight. But either way, thank you so much for the support. And trivial with the gift of death, Sennheiser. <laughs> Sennheiser. Am I even saying it right? Sennheiser. Heiser. Mm. <laughs> Esport, welcome back in. Yeah, I think we're going to be finishing the first DLC today. Um, and Bayer, welcome back in, Sue. I'm too lazy to play Witcher 3 myself, so I started months ago and then got busy. It's a lot. It's a huge time commitment, and I think that's why a lot of people probably don't end up finishing it. Or they also, I think some people just don't even want to commit to it from the beginning. We've heard that from a lot of people as well. I think I can see how it would take a little bit to get used to. Um, I made the mistake of trying open back headphones and now there's no going back. Wait, open back headphones. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I not following along with this? And Zen, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. And you guys with a scam term, come on. Talia, welcome back in. I see Texas Shroom. It's working. It's working. Oh my God. Robert, with another five gifted subs to the channel and community. Thank you so much. Seriously, you can hear as if you're not really wearing them right now. Uh, like I can, I mean, I don't think anything is true. I've never experienced something truly noise canceling, but for the most part, I cannot, I can just hear like a very soft voice of myself right now compared to the earbuds, which I could hear everything. And so it's kind of taking an adjustment. Crazy Joe, welcome back in. And also Dekion, we got to return that. Ginger's not here right now. You can't redeem the cat treats until Ginger's on stream just because she's an old lady. I'm not going to get up and go like pull her from a snap or something like that unless she's actually like coming to me. So if one of my mods can refund that for you, that would be awesome. Uh, Schmeagle, welcome back in. I was referring to closed versus open. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Uh, these are the Sennheiser Movement 4s. They're not meant for gaming or anything, and they're supposed to be Bluetooth, but I had to plug them in because um, I'm trying to figure out the Bluetooth on this computer right now. But do they have a password so you can hear your own voice? <laughs> do they have a pass-through so you can hear your own voice? I'm faintly hearing it. Like I faintly hear it. I would definitely say that if you're looking for true noise canceling, they're not like, um, I can tell you like a good noise canceling are my Bose. I have like Bose like earbuds for working out. And those are the ones I stick with for this. I think that these, I, I don't know, I can't do over the head earbuds or ear earbuds. I can't do headsets when I'm at the gym. I know a lot of people that have been using the like Apple headset and stuff at the gym. I just don't like having something. I mean, I moved away from these a long time ago, if you guys remember, because it does crinkle your hair, which is such a small thing. I know it just is there and I notice it. And I got my OCD going on and everything. But yeah, I've loved all of the Sennheisers that I've gotten in the past and stuff. Runkle, welcome back in. I know I'm still catching up on the top, by the way. Morpheus, welcome back in. I see Alex literally just got done with work, sat in the car, plugged in, and now there's a stream. It's Sunday fun day, Alex. And congrats on getting off of work. And I hope you enjoy. It's Friday for y'all. It's your Friday based on work. Well, happy Friday. And Metal Gear, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. My ticket, ma'am. No need to shove me off. <laughs> And ubiquitous, <laughs> ubiquitous, thank you so much for the 15 months of continual support. I'm here, don't count me absent on my report card. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for all the continual support, truly. Chris, no, the other Chris, welcome back in. Um, but I'm telling you, you're going to see me do this the whole time for the rest of the stream. I'm telling you, it's the Phantom. Now I look like a true gamer. 
<laughs> I think I really did like the earbuds for a while, but after, I mean, how long have you guys been seeing me struggle? Like if I'm getting phantom feelings of wanting to like push them back in when I'm not wearing earbuds, that's when you know that it's not good for you because I was constantly having to adjust them when I was gaming with you guys, recording, all of it. It was a mess. <laughs> It was a mess. It will be nice when I can get these actually Bluetooth and such like that so that I can get up and take them with me so I can hear when you guys are being naughty when I'm in the bathroom. Aquino, welcome back in. Lakers, welcome back in. Yes, no more falling out of how many times have I been mid boss fight and my earbuds just like they gone. They're gone. Harvey, what's up? Welcome back in. I see Shadow Knight. I see Robert again. Robert, thank you so much for all the support. And I see Darko. Darko, welcome back in. Darko. You said on YouTube, if that, if, wait, if it's the right Darko, you said you only tune in like once a week and I feel like I've seen you more because you were talking about what, uh, what game did you suggest? Some of you guys suggested some games that were not short and I told you guys max five hours. Faniel, speaking of, Faniel, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in as well. Prim, bonjour, bonjour. Phil, welcome back in. Pape, dang, we won't be able to surprise, gift or donate. She'll know now. You guys weren't sly about it in the past either. To defend her young family. London. London with the three gifted subs to the channel as well. London, thank you so much. Someone's calling. Someone in chat is a liar. London, seriously, thank you so much. And anybody that got a gifted sub, welcome to the channel and the community. It feels weird though. Like it feels weird. I don't know. I think that another aspect of it too is i just feel like when you have earbuds it's less intrusive and it just takes up less space on the screen i feel like my headphones are like bigger than my head i have a small head so they don't make it any better <laughs> truly bear what's up welcome back in clutch welcome back in uh legend herself welcome back in as well i'm still hoping to see batman arkham city in the future i would like to go back to it but maybe not on all right, that doesn't sound improved on these earbuds, on this headset. Does not sound nice. Chris, come on. Why you gotta ruin the headset already? <laughs> I want to adjust. <laughs> I know what it is, is every time I change position, I also am just used to adjusting my, my earbuds. This is so weird. Some tunes for the new headset, please. Why you gotta ruin it so early? Indifference, welcome back in. Near, welcome back in. This freaking scam tram. Benji, what's up? Welcome back in. I see Daniel. I see video game Shay. Shay, how's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you in a little. I hope you're doing well. And Snap a Light, I see Cosmic Hendrix. Yeah, the daylight saving stuff was always, that, that whole thing was funky. I didn't really even understand that it was happening until you guys told me yesterday, but it didn't impact. The only thing it impacted is I guess I normally do EST, but going forward, I'm just going to do ET to begin with. So everything that you see is in ET hours, but I will keep putting ET so you guys remember. Shay, I'm sorry. I know I've been like catching up on both. Mm, I've been lurking in bed. I'm usually drawing when watching. Wait, have you? Are you in the Discord? You should put your art. If you should put your art in the Discord, you're welcome to. That'd be awesome to see. That's so cool. I really need to get back into drawing myself. Losing an hour stinks. Yeah, especially for sleep or if you have anything in the morning. Dead. <laughs> Dead zombie hunter. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community as well. And you guys, thank you for this hype train. Truly, London, Scarlet Fox, welcome back in. Anybody that just got a gifted sub, I'm sorry to say you're stuck. It's just how it works. Hal, welcome back in. Cute Lonely Minion, welcome back in too. I'm trying to do the catch up on both. Like I'm reading it as you guys are typing and then I'm reading like going down mine as well. I see I'm Dips, Dips, welcome back in. Sid, happy Sunday and Last of Us finale. Is anybody else like me, bitch? Binging. I mean, I got to episode three, but now I need to binge like the entire rest of the season. <laughs> but that's only six, right? There's nine episodes total, so it shouldn't be that bad. Delicious Sprite. Delicious. I feel like I haven't seen you in a little. Welcome back in and thank you so much for the hydration. Uh, Robert, I saw Leonardo again. NL, I saw. It's so cool to see you again because I feel like I haven't. I feel like it's been forever. Anything. <laughs> to defend her young family. Did you guys see her under the chair today? 
Elder, Kyle, thank you so much for the three gifted subs to the channel and community as well. And a level four hype train. What? <laughs> And Outplayed, thank you so much for the resale for an entire year. Welcome back in and thank you for an entire year of continual support. Truly still stuck on the third episode as well. Okay. Episode three was tough to watch. Well, when I say I'm on episode three, like I literally need to watch episode three. I've only watched one and two and I still... <laughs> Yoda and my soda, welcome back in. Outplayed, seriously, thank you so much for the entire year. Truly. Kenny, welcome back in. I've caught up on it earlier. I just watched episode six the other night. Oh, so you have a little bit more binging to do? This is bad. Look, here's the thing. I started watching you before I started watching Last of Us, and Last of Us should have came first, but somebody... I told somebody that I watched the first and second season of You and I kind of just didn't really like it. I feel like he's so good at being creepy that I just didn't want to watch it. And then somebody told me that season four You is really good. And it is. It's very much, it's very different than the other ones. You. Me? <laughs> is it possible? Uh, <laughs> cries welcome back in watching You. Yeah, it's this. Uh, it has the guy from Gossip Girl, but it also has the guy from. Uh, he's been in a lot of things, actually. Um, us, we. <laughs> Bad day. Welcome back in. You is very good, but super uncomfortable, and it's a weird feeling. But I don't get that same feeling of uncomfortableness in season four, um, because it's kind of flipped. The script is flipped. You can watch them both together. The last of you. <laughs> the last of you yoda tried it couldn't stand the guy because he's so good at like being creepy like it's honestly i wonder if that's hard to get a good role after that because you almost i don't think he's typecasted by any means but he definitely could play Dahmer too i think i mean that's it's hard to see the guy who plays the jeffrey Dahmer's the new at the latest jeffrey Dahmer series and anything else because i remember him vividly in a lot of American Horror Story. So I guess that role wasn't such a surprise for me, but avoiding Last of Us, I've been avoiding it. It's not that I'm avoiding it. I just, uh, I don't know. I guess I feel like whenever you play a game and then it comes out in a movie, and I do think that they're doing it justice. I know a lot of people have liked it. I think I just romanticize a lot of the series that I play and I know that it's not going to live up to my expectations, but I can still appreciate it. Like, I think I can still appreciate it. I just know that it's not going to, I don't think it's going to exceed my expectations by any means. I was so emotionally invested in last of us one and two. If you guys watch that on YouTube, um, it's probably the most that I've put my heart and soul into doing predictive analysis and trying to just really feel for the characters and put myself in that situation. But his TikTok's right. He's not like the character at all. Wait, which one? Which guy? I didn't even see that. And also, um, thank you for the follow and welcome to the channel and community. The third season was way too messy for me. For you. Uh, I actually did not like how season... I haven't seen how it ends. I'm on like episode five. I think I'm on episode five. The you actor. Oh, I didn't know. I actually am not on TikTok. So I need to see if he has stuff on YouTube for that. Alex, what's up? Welcome back in. It has been a fantastic weekend. I'm super excited to finish this DLC. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Most likely, I mean, this is hoping that we finish tonight, but most likely I'll have a start a game between now and then because i don't think we'll be able to complete blood and wine before re4 so that gives us what like eight streams to get anything done so i have to figure that stuff out but legend i have one cat she's an old lady i had a second cat at one point but they didn't get along and so unfortunately i had to rehome the second cat because ginger is just she is my girl she's my girl it was a really it was a hard thing it was like two three years ago now i think that was three years ago now unknown welcome back in yes no more squeegees <laughs> no more squeegees and yes the cat game of thrones was painful to hear earlier trust me somebody already put that in here uh booch welcome back in royden welcome back in orion brennan i see soup as well imagine knowing your own schedule couldn't be me juiciest welcome back in prime welcome back in cosmic coding padawan as well scandal and art guys thanks for the follows and welcome to the channel and community james welcome back in oh more Omorier, wait, what's up? LA, welcome back into their new headphones. I think that these are going to become my primary, but you'll see me probably go in between. The other ones broke, but I did order the same pair. The other ones were, 
Astro something. So I ordered another pair of those just because I want to be able to have the flexibility between both of them. These ones connect effortlessly to my MacBook when I'm doing any other kind of stuff for work. So it's great between the both of them. It's really awesome to toggle. So you'll probably see me toggle between them depending on the game. Uh, Scandal, what's up? Welcome in and thank you. And I hope you enjoy the channel and the community. And guys, thank you so much for the hype train right off the rip. You know I'm going to say it. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. Dragoons, welcome back in. I don't have the command for it right now. I'm sorry. I didn't even send it to my mods because I wasn't sure if I was going to use them today. I've been trying to use them the past two streams. They actually are supposed to be Bluetooth, but I think I'm going to have to use them plugged in for now. Jacob, what's up? Welcome back in. And Shaka, hello. Uh, you don't know it yet, but you're about to start quite the memorable part of the DLC. This isn't the ending of the DLC. Have I been jokey? Have I been kidding myself? I thought this was going to be the final part of this DLC. Bunny, welcome back in. This has got it. This can't be it. Big J, welcome back in. These are the Sennheiser Movement 4s. Um, but if you're looking for truly 100% noise canceling, you're not going to get that with these. But I will tell you that it's a lot more noise canceling than my earbuds were. So I'm like adjusting to not being able to hear myself because sometimes I think when I can hear myself, I won't talk as loud. I feel like I'm talking really loud right now. <laughs> Guess she knows it now. Yes, I wait. What? Glide path. Big B, welcome back in. Uh, no, not the end. Not even close to this DLC. This isn't, but this is the third final task. Oh my gosh, it's like a kid that just found out that's... Never mind, I'm not going to finish that sentence. I lose games. Welcome back in. Super snack. Hello, super snack. Welcome back in. Starving dogs. Little Misfortune is super good. Sorry, I know I'm just getting to that right now. But yes, I'm enjoying Little Misfortune. I think you guys will like that. I told you all that there's three, oh, there's two more episodes of the fall. It's kind of interesting because those videos are only going to go up on Fridays if I have anything for you guys. But I think, I, I mean, at the rate that I'm flying through these short games, you guys will have like unlimited Friday content. Um, Hazard, welcome back in, by the way. Halleck, again, welcome back in. Alert, hello. RCT, welcome back in. Raven, hi. How will you Ginger? That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. If I can barely hear myself, I'm not going to hear her crying outside of the door. I usually check because I have like a light out there so I can see her little shadow. But today I can tell you right now, ever since putting this chair in here, she hops up on this chair and she just sits here and waits for me to feed her. So I think we'll still get some ginger time today. Jacob. Okay. See you in five. Oh my gosh. Why do I want to? I always want to try to act like I'm pushing my squeegees back in. Alex Goose, what's up? Welcome back into I will beat y'all in dodgeball. Schmeagle, what are you on about? I got lost and ended up here. Small ball. <laughs> Small ball, welcome back in. And 96 Beagle, welcome in. And thank you for the follow. Orange, you glad you're finishing the Hearts of Stone so we can move on to a better DLC? Are we actually finishing it? And Captain Caffeine, welcome back in. I also, did I hydrate? Did I even hydrate? Now I can't remember. Verdi's in here. Vert, thank you. Thank you, Vert. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to set up a ring camera for Ginger. I think if she continues to go right here, I'm actually gonna set up my other camera that I typically use um, or I had got for vlogging. That doesn't really happen. But I'll set that camera up and then maybe we'll get a cat camera every once in a while. But she hasn't been sleeping here yet. I'm waiting for her to make it her home. She kind of goes in periods where she likes to be in the closet. She'll like to like sleep on the bed. She goes through waves. I think she has to mix it up in her life because, I mean, how exciting is it to sleep in a bunch of different spots? I don't know. Darko, you got a scary cosplay preview from Halloween on Instagram. That was actually from last year. That was one of my favorites from last year. So I just kind of wanted to remind people that I'm already ready for October. <laughs> Not that anybody needed to be reminded, but I'm ready for October. I hope you guys are as well. 12 days left for Resident Evil. I cannot wait at all. Cherokee, what's up? Welcome back in. By the way, RE4 comes out next week. I'm so excited. Um, I guess we'll have to decide. I'm going to wait until we officially finish this DLC before we decide what to do. Um, I think like we'll talk about it all together if you guys want to see me play a shorter game in between or if I should just dive into the next DLC. I just think that it's going to do the DLC dirty, though, if we pause for RE4 and then come back to it, you know? Herb, herb time, herb time, welcome back in, by the way. Alex is, um, being new here, I'm stoked to see what you got hidden up your sleeve this year. Oh, I don't know if anything's hidden, but beat ups, welcome back in, senpai as well. But I will say, when it comes to October, you never know what you're going to get on stream. You'll pop in and probably never recognize me for an entire month, trust me. 
Scream 6. Oh, did anybody see Scream 6? Yeah, I saw it on Friday and it was awesome. Are you at all interested in Diablo 4? So I've never played the other ones. So I haven't really had much of an interest in the Diablo series. It's kind of one of those games that I would play, but I not anytime soon because I have some other games that are really taking precedence but it's been a series that I've been interested in just like Dragon Age I think that's kind of resurfaced to the top as well and also Newt wait Newt welcome back in and thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row yeah. <laughs> time for Gwent we need to hear Gwent on the new yeah you're right we need to hear Gwent on the new headset you're right you're right you're right Aquina yes that's really new <laughs> wearing this would probably make me kind of paranoid not being able to hear things yeah but sometimes I think that I hear too much on the other ones and it makes like remember how many times I'm like oh it's raining or I feel like I hear something in my house right now dynamic holy cow <laughs> It's been a while since I've been able to catch the stream. I'm really busy with life stuff. I totally get it. It's been up. Yeah, I mean, it's been six months. Big ups for you and keep up the good work. Seriously, Dynamic, I hope that everything's going well. Um, busy. I hope it's a good busy. But either way, we'll always be here whenever you got some downtime. So thank you so much for the continual support for six months in a row. And welcome back in. Daniel, welcome back in. You really enjoyed it. See, I think a lot of people did. I see Alpha, Bell Pepper, welcome back in. Black Delicious, hello. Soup, I saw Vintage, welcome back in. Alex, is this a new PC operational? Congrats. Yes, Alec. Yes, it's been operational for the past like three streams. Yeah, it's up and running. I think everything's going well. Scream 6 is my favorite. Since the original. So Laker, I feel like you're quite the movie buff. So that comes, uh, I feel like that comes from a very, uh, sorry. I feel like that's a really strong sentiment i don't know what i was trying to say there <laughs> philly what's up welcome back in so someone can break into your house and not know i will definitely know i have a security system i will 100 percent be hearing that over that earbuds no doubt true you're wearing over ears i didn't even realize it blends in the hair is poofy today so it blends in i think other times it will make my head look very small <laughs> In comparison, Mr. Luigi, welcome back in. Pape Man, welcome back in. Yes, we're on the new PC. I haven't cared about a scream since the first one, but this one looked pretty cool. I will say that I told you guys I tore it apart right at first, and then I ended up coming back and really liking it. Like after I was able to sit on it for a little bit. Theory, what's up? Welcome back in. Scott, welcome back in. Checking in from Alaska. Wait, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. I've been itching to go back to Alaska, especially once you have like family up there. You just have more of an excuse to go, you know? Like it's like, oh, hey, let me just get up there. Uh, JD, welcome back in, by the way. Kellen, welcome back in. It is always easier to travel somewhere, somewhere when you have people living in the spot too. It says there and back again um you were gonna crank up witcher 3 to wait 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 yo gonna crack witcher 3 up to 11 then what do you mean up to 11 daylight welcome back in what do you mean by that crank it up to 11 it's already on the hardest difficulty what are we cranking up harvey welcome back in not ever sober welcome back in to pape man i see pape i see i see joggy welcome back in i'm gonna scroll and catch up wait la clutch dude i haven't seen you in so long and we, okay, saw Legend herself, saw Legend, saw Shadow, Wayward, welcome back in, Cosmic, welcome back in, Spring Shield, dude, it's been a while, Spring Shield, welcome back in, Delicious Sprite, always a pleasure, yes, new headset, all right, let me scroll down, Flacco, by the way, welcome back in too, uh, I'm scrolling, we're scrolling, I saw Cute, Lonely, Halleck, again, Angel, welcome back in, RCT, Orion, Stack, episode, yeah, I need to get, I need to catch up. I'm going to do that. I feel like that's the one thing that I keep saying with you guys. I think also it's one of those things that Last of Us is one of those series that I wouldn't mind waiting until season two is out because then I can keep living it on. I told you guys I don't like to finish a lot of books. I don't like stories to be over. And it's been a long time since I fixed that. The audio. Wait, the audio and what? What are you talking about? Oh, the audio? Like cranking it up to what do you mean? Crank. Does it sound super low? Or like an official streamer with the headset. Okay, we never slap on the title official here. Okay, don't. <laughs> that was like when I went full time and you guys were like all oh, professional streamer now. No, 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 no. <laughs> it is still very much a shit show. It has its days. Zen, thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had it over the head. Actually, I have my original pair of over the head. Yeah, I have my original headset. 
It's like sitting behind. It's kind of like a tr it's like a token, a trophy at this point. Just like this controller when we finally upgrade the controller. And Figaro, welcome back into. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, let's get this bad boy rolling. Bring them out when stream. I don't even think I have the dongle. Is that what it is? I don't even think that I have the thing that you need to even use the headset. I'm not sure if I even have that piece anymore. I think I just have the remnants of the headset itself. Bearish, thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community as well. Uh, the original Wait, Wait, The Orange Top reminds me of Portal Girl. Portal Girl Shell. Wait, are you talking about the first or second? Oh, she does have that. And you know what's crazy is I found my favorite. I think they're supposed to be hiking pants, but I've just been wearing them every day. So I'm actually wearing almost like portal style pants too. Hold on. What color are her pants? What color are her pants actually? Spiderwick, what's up? Welcome back in. Andy, welcome back in. We're not ready to say goodbye to the controller yet. I'm not. I'm not. They're white pants. I think I could do a cosplay. I can get these pants in white. Oh my gosh. Talavarian, <laughs> the impromptu cosplay. Talavarian, what's up? Welcome back in. And thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row as well. Uh, that's really dangerous though. Who, who wants white pants? Oh my goodness. Anyone excited for the new Last of Us? I, a lot of us, Kellen, a lot of people are. I'm not caught up, but yes, I know a lot of people are getting excited for it. So with that, especially with Last of Us coming out, I'll probably be ending like right before nine o'clock. So I do want to get as much done as possible. So let's boot this bad boy up. I feel wholeheartedly knowing about, knowing about to finish a game can be dreadful. Yeah, I get really emotionally attached, not to the point. It's kind of a weird attachment. So I love characters in the moment, but then when I separate from the game, like after I'm done playing it a couple of days, it, it doesn't really linger. Like I don't care. It's like I care with my heart. Like, I mean, this is very much my personality as a person. Whatever I'm doing, like I put my heart and soul into it. And then after I kind of, I don't have a problem like, I don't hold on to anything. I've never held on to grudges. I never hold on to anything. I feel like I can just, like, continue to progress forward. Um, oh, gosh. I don't have it on my desktop, and it, it's confusing me. So after I'm done with a game, I kind of just, like, move on from it. And to the point, and I think that's what you guys see. Like, it's not a mark on the game. It doesn't mean I like it any less if I don't remember intricate details about it. I think it's just, like, I'm ready for the next adventure or the next thing. Um, Lies, you hold a grudge every time, revolution. <laughs> I think that I used to hold grudges more, actually, and I just lately have been really trying to have more of a carefree approach to a lot of things while still caring a lot. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it's like I care in the moment when it's on my mind, and then after, carry on my wayward son. Exactly. I want to like Atomic Hearts. Uh, been unable to move three to four times. The platforming kind of sucks on atomic hearts i know a lot of people are really excited about that i only just saw the trailer for it and it looks like a com like a culmination of a few different things but it just doesn't call to me it's called growing up is that what it is bunny <laughs> rain man thanks for the posture check it's called growing up is realizing i will say that i feel like in the last three to four years i just realize what needs more of my attention or worry than other things i'm trying really hard not to worry about things anymore because i used to over i probably cared about things more than i should have the older that you get the less you care 100 percent. or i wouldn't even say it's the less you care i think it's that you put value back into the things that matter most like i think you realize how fast time moves and how quickly things are like fleeting and stuff and so if i'm going to give something my time or my energy like i now am better at judging what's actually deserving or worth it you know uh duck face with the reset for 25 months in a row duck face thank you so much and welcome back in holy cow that's over two years we're on to three years it's gone members welcome back in by the way talia thank you so much and alex it's good uh i started i did another chapter mistborn but i told you guys i still need to finish witcher so i think that will be my plan for tuesday i don't normally get a lot of reading done on my non-off days but tuesday i have a plan to finish that and also brother loves the new pc i told you guys i helped him set it up and everything and it's running perfectly so he is loving that so all around it's been really good it's been a great weekend i can't complain and sienna what's up welcome back and wait you're on page two of mistborn and i'm out of control <laughs> in a good way or a bad way good way or bad way 
if I find a game, I replay it till death, even if they're like 10 years old. I do that with songs. I'm very much like that. If I find a song that I love, I'll listen to it for like a week, two weeks, three weeks on repeat. And then I'm done with it. It's probably bad. It's like a binging personality. I feel like ain't nobody got time to dwell in the past. <laughs> exactly I do think that it can be hard because the less you care to the more dismissive you are of things and sometimes I don't know if I'm being like too quick to dismiss something that's actually important or someone dragoons what's up welcome back in ginger needs more attention when she comes out you'll see her you'll see her little shadow you'll see a tail pop up over here and she'll be there all right you guys are you ready pellet welcome back in time for the quest a lot of you guys said that this was your absolute favorite out of all of the three things that uh david beckham gives you to do so let's get started give more treats she's not here you can't give treats she's not here it sounds so much everything sounds amplified everything sounds better oh <laughs> unknown thank you so much for the 1500 bits by the way congrats on 35k i don't know what's happened in the last year like it has been a whirlwind and i know i thank you guys all of y'all at the end of every stream um but i just i never expected to be here or be able to do this full time so just a real quick moment just to say thank you guys for enabling this to happen this is the manticore armor people mentioned the one he's wearing right now he is changing his armor Unknown, thank you so much, <laughs> truly. The one Geralt's wearing is in the menu. This is the Manticore armor? Where did you get, is the Manticore armor in base game? Isn't it in base game? This quest haunts you? Wait, haunts me to this day? Okay, so we're gonna be hyper-focused. Six God, what's up? Welcome back in, and Hulk, welcome back in. No, I've never played Hades the game. And Jin, I don't know if I'm actually ready for it. I think you know it's worth your time, and you also put in the same effort to keeping up with your life, so don't worry. Yes, yes. I feel like you're better at reading situations as you get older. Uh, Ish, welcome back in. Newt, no. Thytus, welcome back in too. It is in blood and wine. Manicor is in blood and wine. Okay. I think it's interesting. They keep like. I got the bear armor, which we saw him in the bear armor, and then now he's showing me a different armor. He wants me to, he wants me to continue to get new armor sets, and I'm gonna buy straight into it. Blood and wine, you get the mana core set. Wait, after this quest, we'll probably get to wear the viper armor. <gasps> I'm so excited. If I missed anybody else, guys, welcome back in. Thank you so much for being here and taking times out, times out of your lives. How do I always screw this up? Thank you so much for taking time out of your life to be here and hang out with me and this incredible community and devour with the hydrate, we're guys. Sprawling this estate. We're actually hydrating with water. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Yeah, if you get food poisoning from that, yeah. I can imagine. I've had I have had food that I've gotten food poisoning from that I never touched to this day. It ruins the whole thing. All right, if this is in fact a really good quest, I'm going to try to hyper-focus on it. So if I do miss anybody, guys, I'm sorry and welcome back in. The accent comes out with certain words. Is that it? Sushi, do bad sushi. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose though. Search for the partner of the thief you met. Guys, this is a night and day difference. Why was I not using over the head ear like headset? so much earlier riley what's up welcome back in all right so we are looking for the roses fresh manure oh good point good point i uh, why am i wearing this garbage patch set i think i threw it on did i throw it on during our one mission i can't even remember anymore lacroque what's up welcome back in manure manure the norovirus like 10 years ago and the last thing you had yep and jimmy john's to this day uh-huh i have attachments like that to certain things or if i have a really bad night out there's been some things that have been absolutely ruined by uh, a really bad night out does Geralt's voice sound more delicious water's ice cold mountain stream cold <laughs> be still my beating heart it's more sultry no fortunately it sounds the same but it does like everything just sounds more like amplified rather worn used often wonder by who worn often that's beautiful i just want to build a little bench for the front of my home uh that actually wouldn't be that hard to make except for the cuts okay um <laughs> sorry you guys know me i'll turn anything into an he tv section 
uh, Ara, what's up? Welcome back. And let me guess fireball. No pickle shots. The pickle shots. Ever since I've discovered the picklebacks, I never want to go back. <laughs> Don't make me drink it. Smazzy, what's up? Welcome back in. I know. You were talking about bad sleep. I saw that. All right, so it's going over here. Mm. Pickle Rick. Ever since Pickle Rick, I've never been the same. Here. Such small headstones. Unless the majority of it has been covered. Or maybe they just did less. They don't necessarily look that old either. Equals migraine? Well, you better get out of here, Spazzy. Watching something on the screen is only going to make it worse. Of hot dog water. Woods rotted completely. <laughs> hmm. Somebody was. This is going to be such a cool quest. I wonder. I wonder if this is going to be similar to something out of the books. Uh, well, actually. What was that one guy? There was that YouTuber that would drink just about anything. I'm sure he drank that. Um, a ton of gravestones. No, these are beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. KV, what's up? Welcome back in. No the castle's giving our here. Maybe somewhere out back. Shoe nice. Yep, that's nasty. Welcome back in. Scenes from a marriage. Um, we actually never read. Okay, we did. Search for the partner of the thief human. So I think we're gonna, if somebody said that this quest also, the man Chugs, there's also somebody called Chugs. I was thinking Shoe Nice, but there's somebody called Chugs. Uh, I mean, Hot Dog Water would be like the least of his concerns out of everything I've seen him do. Sith Lord, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, if this messed you up, I have a feeling that his wife met a very nasty end. A busted lamp. And the grounds trampled. Huh. A hundred Carolina Reapers. That's what I don't understand is how does your inside Somebody dragged something this way. A body. Hmm. Blood. How do your insides not just turn on themselves? Okay. Sounded more than anything like a bird kind of flapping out of a rafter. Out of a raptor? No. Let's check over here. An old well. Looks new. Rocket's been repaired. So somebody is in fact living here. Okay. So we saw that. We can go back over here. Maxim, what's up? Welcome back in. You crafted though fury armor. Senor, welcome back in too. Oh. I gotta put the glasses back on Prince at some point. Completed boots, leading from the back of the garden. The Someone blood dragged a wounded man through here. A wounded man. It's got to be the other uh, sneaky guy. A two. Thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community. Yeah, all the way through the back. And Jack, Jack, what's up? Welcome in. Banana, welcome back. In. Is that a weapon repair kit? <laughs> I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Hmm. I remember. What year does this take place? Oh. A lockpick? Oh, it was a lockpick. Must have been the other thieves. Hmm. The cat wanted treats. Everybody redeems cat treats. <laughs> 1272. Why cats dislike Geralt? Is that a universal Witcher thing, or is it because of him and the extremities that he went through specifically? Lucas, welcome back in. Did you, I stayed with Ewa? Uh, no, I didn't. I actually, I did the opposite, but we actually got to see both take place. Just trying to break in over here. Screwboy, what's up? Welcome back in. Mm, we need to get the luck. I want to go to this other side first before we actually go to where the body's being dug. Just in case there's anything else. No. Wagon. Massive estate. This quest creeped you out. <laughs> Screw boy. Cats are magical in the world of the Witcher. They can see magical auras and absorb magical energy. I do feel like Ginger absorbs 
my energy. <laughs> That's cool though. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hmm. Hey. Hear me? A three oh what's up, welcome back in. And dragons can see it too. Thank you so much for the continual support and welcome back in. Another thief. Bodies mutilated. Uh, Frankenstein! Frankenstein! Oh, yeah. Okay, that's even creepier. That is not, that's not a Frankenstein. That's some Silent Hill mashup with Frankenstein. This is not the caretaker. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's got quite the swing. Uh, this is not, this is Abby normal, Abby normal. Oh my gosh, he just Whoa! Oh. I'm gonna hang your head from my saddle. Okay, we can wait for that. Nice. Okay, this is gonna be one hell of a fight. How many swings do you got? Oh, I was right in and I needed to go to the left. Oh, why did I put Yarden down? Welcome to Dark Souls 3. Oh shit. That's like a weird trade. Also, why am I not? Whip! Hold up. I need to stay in the open. Uh, that's where you can get some hits. Okay, you can get about three hits on him if you're next to him right there. One. Interesting. He should do his move right here. Get one, two, three, four hits. Uh, I was in the vicinity. Anon, thank you so much for the gifted subs. This guy haunted you? I think it's after seeing Silent Hill, I feel like not a lot scares me. Like it used to. Get three hits off here. One, two, three. I'm gonna go for four and be greedy. No. Nope. I don't think it's the fact that you can't have potions. He doesn't have like the largest swing anyway. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I'm, I keep trying to go for a four swing. Oh, there's a, there's a, okay. He has like a halfway point. This is very Dark Souls ass. He should have the same thing. Oh. Hot Pot, what's up? Welcome in and thank you for the follow. He got health back. Huh. That's how you imagine the Death Eaters. What is this? He got all of his health back. So how do I negate him regenerating some of his health? Mm, they go to him. Okay, they're not going to me. They're going to him. So they heal him. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Well, it wasn't really bait. It's just me I'm talking out loud to you guys, which I guess is the chat bait. Yeah. All right, get the hits off. One, two, three, four, commit. Get an extra one. Ooh. Ooh, he's got a wicked lunge. This is the probably coolest enemy design I've seen in the game yet. But it also most... I think it would... It just reminds me most of Dark Souls. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Foodie, what's up? Welcome back in. Anon, thank you so much for the gift. And Anon, thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Get an extra hit. Back away. He's probably gonna call his minions back. Do it. One, two, three, four. Uh, I was actually pretty disappointed with the lesson. Nice girl feet. What's up? Welcome back in. Okay, don't focus on him. Focus on his minions. He's trying to go to them. Break them down. Break them down. Not today, bitch. 
Break him down. Uh. Woo! Nice. Get him with two hits. Damn it. He's resurrecting more people. One got to him. Oh, uh, no. Bad. Woo! Nice try. Get one hit off. Back away. The Leshen? No, I talked about that. I feel like the Leshen... I got the Leshen too late. Like, I got to the Leshen too late in the game, so it wasn't as challenging. I did just get tossed there. One hit here, two hits here. Back away. This is so fun for me. Ooh, and then kill him. Commit, commit. Uh, he's still alive. Okay, he's there. <laughs> okay, he's still alive. Bouncing Soul, he's coming back? No, he's not? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Winter and Bouncing Soul. Guys, thanks for the followers and welcome to the channel and community. What the fuck and was that? Just a flesh <laughs> wound. No eyes or nostrils. It's just a flesh no organs. wound. Damn thing had no right to be alive. There's Silent Hill vibes. Mmm. The DLC is awesome. Yes, definitely. The DLC is well worth it, Shadow. Well. Philosophers do still debate what it means to be Thanks, alive, guys. exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but uh... after what I just saw, who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Friends of the house. Guys, thank you so much. And Howie, thank you for the 100 bits as well. I mean, it's kind of hard to go to a game like this after doing Souls games. But it still is fine. Like, it's still, that was the most challenging out of all the bosses in the game. But yeah, if you're thinking about doing the DLCs, the sheer amount of content you get for the price you pay is so well worth it. And the stories, in my opinion, have gotten even better. I think they've been more interesting. Ken, what's up? Welcome back in. And any of the people getting sniped out by Anon, Anon, thank you. And y'all, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Did I forget about the frog? The frog? The creature, what was it? Oh, the frog. The frog was more difficult to figure out how to beat him. He didn't have like a difficult pattern per se. It was just the poison stuff. The creature, what was it? What about this thing? What can you tell me, friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. The caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very unwanted guests. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Hmm. You two are little mysteries. The caretaker was carrying the garden and then I just walked in and spent <laughs> all the plants are gonna die now. Sister, sister, what's up? Welcome back in Frog Moon of Low too. <laughs> Could never forget you. Ever. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. Interesting. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Hmm. Later. Looking for the Violet Rose. You know the master of the house? The I owner? killed the gardener. Olgid von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left. And his wife became mistress of the house. Right. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? <laughs> I'm here to like get seeing the, the dog talk. Rose old gear gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. Hmm. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. He must have been taking care of her as well, like, or he could just be a caretaker so, to the grounds should itself. I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. The spade. Man, I feel so bad for the guy that tried to break in and then you get met with that. You're just, an, oh my gosh. It does, and it was also foggy like Silent Hill as well. 
But who cares for the caretaker? <laughs> Dead. Mm. Posh Vice, the mistress of the house. Let's go loot this body too. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Crisco, what's up? Welcome back in. I just want to make sure. Yep, see. Mm. Uh, ornamented brush. Yeah, brush. Floral ornamentation. Amid, what's up? Pretty. Welcome in. She is probably still alive. I'm almost inclined to think that it could, the flower could still be alive, almost in like a Beauty and the Beast-esque kind of thing. Like that's what she held on to and maybe fuels her life, possibly. Possibly. Bulbs. Someone's still planting flowers. He wasn't the first guy to try that? Yeah. Uh, do you say, yeah, actually, holy cow, wait. Ooh. There are a lot of people trying to sneak in here. Another intruder buried by the caretaker. It's like 10 intruders. Look at all the dirt mounds. <laughs> he didn't look like a nice caretaker. I think that's such a spooky name also. Like, it just is... That... I don't even want to call it a boss, but that fight and that character is just well-designed. Oh, like Adam's Family vibes? Yeah, no. Pilot Echo, what's up? Welcome back in. No, I'm just denouncing squeegees. I can't anymore. I can't deal with it. But you'll see me phantom adjust these as if I do still have squeegees. <laughs> it's been so long. Deity. Strange. Old gear doesn't seem the pious type. Hmm. I was the boss. The caretaker was just the player. <laughs> I did kind of make that boss my bitch. It takes me, I mean, that's just like souls in general, though. Whenever you encounter anything, you just need to see all of its different strikes and abilities that you can do um and then you just know how to counter them and then you find like you gotta be patient and sister <laughs> sister thank you so much for the two gifted subs to the channel and community medusa and have you guys i hope y'all enjoy it wait have you welcome back in guys i hope y'all enjoy the sub and the emotes and thank you so much sister mm. yay my iris did you just say yay my new debit card works i think we need to put cat on you guys i just think that i'm not gonna be able to see this very well food and drink baby patient that's why i'm not good at souls games grimmer what's up welcome back in yeah no i'm not kidding about the patient part with souls games especially i did not do well at it until i went back and played souls games with not leveling up because when you do a no level up run in any souls game you just have to bide your time and and find your opening and then you rinse and repeat for like five, 10 minutes until the point of like doing it without failure. Like you can't even mess up at a lot of points. Solo Black, thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community and Kali with the reset for two months in a row. Welcome back in. Mir, welcome in. You got a shovel. Uh, I saw just a fraction of that. And Tig, welcome back in. Mm, the ultimate greed pushing. Yeah, Souls games are not for the greedy at heart, which was me. I am 100% a greedy person. Yeah. Ah, wait, hold on. I have my I have my shoes on today, but I still have a cord. Like, you can't see it as much, but I do have a cord for these headphones. Ken, no worries. Have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Have a great start to your week, too. Um, fun day, Monday. Fun day, Sunday. Fun day, Monday. I know. Every day is fun day. But overall Monday, and I missed last overall Monday with you guys. Let's explore the entire ground floor first. Oh. I think I need to take off the cat. Hmm? Rocking some Jordans. No, they're just boots. Like hiking boots. Not really, though. Chemical. I guess snow boots. Chemical, thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community. Look at that painting. Oh. What the hell? Feel for DLC cheesy beard. VL4 DLC Bloodborne Brutal. Maria, I fought for so many hours. Jassy, what's up? Welcome back in another day, another loop goblin. I see Trex and Jim. Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome to the channel and community as well. Kovir. Cover and Povis. It's almost in every single room. Ah. That's some good loot. 
for Ludwig. What the hell was that? It's spooky. I saw that there was a letter, but it didn't allow me to read it right away. Mm. Love letter. Is it the love letter? Item required of the rest of the Von E estate put up for auction. No, no, no. We already read this letter, right? Wait. Yeah. It was a sketch. Oh, it was a sketchbook. Okay. It may not pop up. But it is important to remember the love letter. Southpaw, thanks for the hydrate as well. Uh, I think that there's just some bookcases. Hurricane, welcome back in. Oh. I wish you could see your sketches. I'm sure you probably can. We're gonna actually go ahead and consume this. Nope. Sorry. This. No, I think it's better with cat. What do you guys think? Leave I... before it's too late. I can't see a damn thing. I know it takes the spooky away, but I can't see a damn thing. Harry Potter's room. The FPS is tanking in here. Is it? Is it coming across really crappy for y'all? Without it. Mm, tidy, and everything's clean, ready for, for a meal people. to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. The problem with Cat is everything that's bright just amplifies. Natty, I, I can't know. Stubborn beast you be, I, I have, have no, no choice. choice. I guess I could, I guess I could, yeah, I mean, I guess I could just light some light, yeah. Uh, Natty, I cannot believe it's already been three months. Welcome back in, and thank you for the continual support. I hope you're doing well. Mmm, we don't use torches here. That would be the smart idea. I just haven't, I've never relied on torches the entire game. I might have to. Do we, uh, I guess I don't use the lantern. I guess we can use a torch. <sighs> You're right. The problem with the cat is they want treats locked. Catch the cobwebs on fire. Look at the detail in the wood. Like even down at the base. The doors themselves. I mean, that's got to take somebody like weeks to complete and carve all the way. That would be an awesome thing to have, auto torch. I also think that the torch is better than cat because it is still keeping the spooky element. Like we're exploring somewhere. So oh, there we go. Interesting. Gar, what's up? Welcome back in. And them claws, hello. I got big headphones. I think they're normal headphones. I think I just have a small head. <laughs> but we knew this. But yes, we switched to headphones. I'll probably toggle between the two, but yeah. Welcome back in. Geralt auto torture. <gasps> These do feel like parlor tricks. That must have been what she used to look like. They had a child? Unless that was her. Yeah. That was them. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Huh. Is he holding the purple rose in his hand? And then she's her holding the purple rose. That was barely a jump scare. Barely. Before we go in there, I want to try this. It's probably locked, yeah. If you look at the attributes of the caretaker spade, it would explain some things. Oh. Um. Nope. 10% of damage dealt returned as vitality. That also does a lot of damage. Also does a lot of damage. Kay is what's up, welcome back in. And Stanley, Stanley, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row and welcome back in. Thank you. Mm, fire damage. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Just now I noticed that I have them. I feel like it's... It's been like my issue with having the over the head 
headphones. I feel like it just swallows my head. <laughs> like it just swallows my head. I've picked up most of these books and then this is, okay, we can't go down here. I did play Visage last October and Madison caused me so much emotional damage. Here we go. Well, don't mind if I do. Nice girl, yes, welcome back in. Yeah, I normally have earbuds. I just can't deal with the squeegees anymore. And they started hurting one of my piercings, so these are really good because they don't <laughs> impact my piercings at all. All right. This is a really cool design. Nice. Okay, it fits a, what is it, a wraith? Okay, going to the wraith. Corby, what's up, welcome back in. To the wraith. Uh, Spectre, Spectre. Spectre, um... Yarden? Oh, she does some bitching damage. Come here! She is not gonna make this easy at all? What is that? Like, sucking the soul out of the painting. I need to put Yarden up. I don't want to use... She went into the painting. She regenerated. So we have to destroy the painting. Okay. You have to destroy the painting. Sly foot. Sly, how are you? She still regenerated a decent amount of health. Ooh, that's some good damage on her. Throw the Yarden down. She's going into one of the paintings over here. Move! She got everything back. She got nearly everything back. You can't, like, actually destroy it. There's something I'm missing. There's something I'm missing. Mm. Yeah, but she still regenerates like a lot of it, but maybe burning. Oh, that actually causes it to be burnt like completely. It's funny. I've used Quen for so long that I forget there's other signs to begin with. Are you snowed in? I saw how much snow. Oh man, I don't even remember. What is the place? Uh, where's the place that got, what, 40, 40 something feet of snow? Okay. I didn't realize how much damage you can honestly apply to a wraith. She's going in this one. Nice. Please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, y'all. I appreciate it, but part of the fun of a first playthrough is figuring everything out on your own. I actually can't Igni it though. I Hold on, she's gonna have to regenerate for a second because I can't. There we go. You did your entire first playthrough without using Gwen once. I've never seen that much snow ever in Minnesota. That's the problem is I actually used to only use Igni. And then once I discovered Quen, all I want to use is Quen. Which one? None of these creatures actually do that much HP to you. Which one? She'll probably go into a painting one more time. Okay. Nice. The Wraith from the painting. That's such a cool take on normal Wraiths, though. Stanley, th what the hell was that? That's so cool. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. There's also portraits of Iris with the cat and the dog. But they look different, the cat and the dog. 
Look at the flowers right here, too. Uh, it's giving me layers of fear. Strong layers of fear vibes. That's exactly what I did. Igni only, then Ard and Quen. I started with Igni, and then once you guys put me onto Quen, I can't stop Quenning. It's the only thing I can use. Iris was supposed to be here. Yeah. She was supposed to be here. But there is somebody here. Hmm. One could say it was a killer painting. <laughs> you beat Elden Ring? Wait, how many attempts on Melania? How many attempts? Vintage, congratulations. That's awesome. And Ro Claren, thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community. Before I actually interact with that, let's go over here first. Okay, we'll be able to go through that in a second. Portrait of Iris and Great. Okay, we saw that one downstairs. She looks like he, she really, or he looks, sorry, she looks like she really liked him. Layers of Fears, right? With an S. I'm really excited for that one. Silent Hill 2, Layers of Fears. Uh, Outlast Trials should be coming out soon as well, I think. I'm so excited. All the spoopy games. I think that's why I'm kind of enjoying Little Misfortunes, because it has this, like, scary element without being jump scare scary. Like I hear somebody arguing right now. All right, let's finally investigate what we're supposed to. You guys hear the moving around, right? Is it in the summer? It's coming on. Gotta the be here. Damn it. But she's been dead you for a long. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick True. joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? Mm. We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Oh. Interesting. I wonder why. Axe, welcome back in. Which begs the question who created the caretaker in the first place if it wasn't her? Blue, what's up? Welcome back in too. Why are you helping me? But are the they really I helping? This, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <gasps> Surprised. No, not at all. Hmm. It does give me some, like, Beauty of the Beast vibes with, like, the candlestick and the other things being alive. Obviously, these are actually, like, a dog and a cat, but they're, like, part of everything weird that's happening here. Yeah, Alphaba, I did start it just today. Maybe she didn't want to look at his face? How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Old age? Her heart burst. Uh... Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Hmm. Iris's wrath, what was it born of? Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. It's fair. She can't hear us. You kill him and then they call him Ockley. <laughs> Mr. Welcome back in, by the way, in DC. I need to talk to Iris's ghost. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Mm. Too much blood, too much fear. By the painting she in the front? Much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Where are these animals the holding the key? Angel. <laughs> I also saw Blue Ranger. Blue Ranger, welcome back in. Y'all hear that though, right? I wonder if I should have gone down. Hmm. Hmm. Well, as the game has said before, there is 
the prison pocket is valid in the game according to the writings sir whale nips sir whale thank you so much for the reason by the way did i just run it what thank you sir whale nips thank you so much for the resub for eight months in a row and welcome back in thank you seriously no tips tricks or spoilers y'all mm, i went there so you didn't have to <laughs> John. Yeah, I was thinking in the front, but I wasn't thinking to the right. I was actually thinking where the... Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's do where the oil painting was. The aroma of the flowers, though. Did I ever investigate these? Robert, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I just hope you have a great start to your week as well. I think it would be best to put her here. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Mm hmm I did not say Did Iris around. von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Hmm. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Dan, what's up? Investigate these curious plants. The poppies. <laughs> the poppies. It's cool to go through and find the stuff before, though, and be able to guess where she probably would want to be. Iris and Olgrid. A talented painter. I didn't know her. Well, we have seen her. Actually, have we even seen her paintings? I guess I should be honest. No. Can't say much about Iris von Everick, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Hmm. Oh, we did find the sketch pad. I think the more intimate we can make it, the better her response will be. Zaya, what's up? Welcome back in. Django, you even auctioned one of her paintings. And I didn't even realize it? Wait, not the Starry Night one. The Starry Night looking one? Huh. Her sketch pad? Autumn, thank you. You two have anything to add? I would definitely not do the iris and I would, let's do her sketch pad. Your name's inscribed in this <gasps> sketch pad. Hi, hi. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You hear me talking to chat and now you want treats. Is that what's happening? You two have anything to add? You two. Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Hmm. Louisa, what's up? Welcome in. The Starry Night looking one was painted by her under a pseudonym. Ah, you even read the paper that stated it, so okay. That explains why I didn't actually... <laughs> I read it, but do I listen to it? Bring your little short tail over here. Uh, Louisa, thanks for the follow and welcome in. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Time to summon. Light the candle. It almost looks... Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath. Forget your grief. Show yourself. She's rubbing up against my hand behind me right now. She's so cute. Right. What is it, the woman in black with Daniel Forgive Radcliffe? Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. She needs moisturizer. Seventh Witcher, welcome back in. Yeah, new headphones. I'm loving them. They're so awesome. Hmm. Her hair looks really nice for being dead. I gotta meet my macros, human. Should I follow you? All right. 
Dark Souls 3 intensifies. Mmm, Maximus, what's up? Welcome back in. Iris Ross. What is this place? Could we bring the, the painted world, the work of Iris von Everek? Oh hi, hi. Ah, it's like a. Uh... You two get in here. Oh, what's that one called? We exist in both worlds at once. It's like, is it, is it Loving Vincent where it's all painted? It's like a whole movie just in paintings. Uh, already zombie and dark guys. Thanks for the followers and welcome in. Kevin, welcome back in. Hmm. Tell me more about this place. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Hmm. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. I want to know more about these two specifically. The painted world. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? <laughs> you awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? So are you examining the tracks outside? Yeah, so? Mm. This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Okay. Easy to say. 69. Got any more Iris? Iris von Everick. Ginger, I know you want treats. I know you do, but we're in the middle of a quest. I don't think chat wants to do treats right now. Pat, what's up? Welcome in. Uh, we're level 38, right? I think we're 38. Mm-hmm. Scenes from- Spectres of oh. Olgid and his wife. Oh, you're but right. why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete. Mm -hmm. Blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Okay. So we need to restore it. That's so cool. Necro, thanks for the follow and welcome in. Teapot. Tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Probably not right. Nope, nope. He probably wants this thing. Yeah. Probably not right. Oh no 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 wait. Okay, we can place the tea. Uh. Oh. So we need to take Something up the painter's it. palette. We need to place the painter's palette here. But Perfect he doesn't match. have the teapot. The teapot could be for something else entirely. They could. Oh, there it is. The book. The spirit from the step. The spirit from the step. Read might, often, well worn. Might man yet learn his neck to bend? Ha! Behold that noble race. Doth year by year its birthright rend, its promised lands fast laid a waste. Hearts grown cold, brothers, brothers spurn. The rich grow fat while the poor grow thin. Some hoard bread, others can but yearn. Then rise and mass to slay their kin. Taste ye now my missive's fruits. Feed on them, O heartless brutes. This world you've bit with cruel tipped fangs. Your dark crime's venom now through it seeps. Above God's wrath in wild clouds hangs. A cleansing storm soon to unleash. A riddle stuck in sleep. A grub enwrapped in spittle beneath the tum tumult of raging skies waits and grows little by little till at last a bright ray it spies. Spreads new wings and it away it flies. Ginger's like right over here. May this thought with man endure. May we ever in heart recall this merry creature winged and pure and how it started so strange so small. Whoever seeks the flesh a cure to skies above doth plead and call. May in the soul our tale hope stir. Hmm. He definitely was holding that one, though. Everybody's wanting to know how old I am. Guys, Perfect I have a birthday match. coming up. This is emotional. Asad, what's up? Welcome back in. Mm, I'm turning 26 in like, what, 11 days? 
How many days? get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Kelly's old. Kelly's old. <laughs> Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. Hmm. You thought Siri had dark eye makeup? 26 is a sus answer? What does that even mean? He's probably reading the Sword of Destiny like I should be doing. Bees, bees! Run away! Okay, the next scene should be down here. Oh. A specter? Oh, really? Are you just kidding me? Bees. Okay, I think if we stick to over here. Another memory. Ah, the bees make you go to the next memory. I think that's what they is. That, what they is. That's what they are. They'll swarm you until you go to the right spot. But the spiders, I don't. Oh, nope. They're coming over here. No, they're staying out. Okay. Hmm. To be or not to be? That is the question. No, I think I have to kill them before I can interact with this. Unfortunately. Yeah. The bees be buzzing. Let me actually heal first. I see the flower right there, though. They're following me everywhere. All right, let's heal up with this swallow real quick. I know she came out just for treats, and I'm making her wait. We just have to regenerate her health. I don't think I could... There's no way that I could sleep in the middle of this. Yeah. There's no meditating in the painting world. Let's try to do this. I think this is a good time to do our swing. Spin to win, spin to win. Mm. Keep him in here. <laughs> You're turning six cat years old. <laughs> One dog beer. The animal spirits told you that you have to fight the bad memories. That should count as the bad. Me yep, it counted as the bad memories. Kind of okay. Decorations for a special occasion. Is that the only one? Yeah, there's no medit. No, I think there's no medit. Oh, you can meditate. Okay, let me meditate real quick. I don't think it's gonna let me. Yeah, even if it's not. Oh, Ginger, no. I'm sorry. not right. It wouldn't be. Okay, so it wouldn't be flowers. Ah, could it be jewelry? A glass. Just like the one old Geert's holding. Oh, they're cheering. Perfect match. Okay, so they're cheering, but then the Your flowers health, will be for my dear wife. And yours, Shit. my husband. She's getting super impatient. Imola, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. And I finished them off for you? My knight. You've seen to everything. Oh why is it all these spiders? Good job, yeah, Ginger's not happy. Not at all. God damn it all. She lob. Come on. Damn it. And... I think that the spin the, the spin to win is not a bad idea. Okay, hold on. 
Oh, it did. It gave me my Raffords. Okay, thank goodness. All right, we have Raffords. Do this for the win. What's worse than a spider? A ghost spider? Woo! They wait for me to be done. Spin the win, spin the win, spin the win. Feed ginger, feed ginger, feed ginger. I almost think that the, the spin to win might be inefficient because you just don't deal as much damage as I'd like to. He said, oh! <laughs> he said, toss. Toss me. <laughs> Why must you guys ruin everything? Performer, what's up? Welcome back in. Oh, you missed! I was like two feet away! How did you miss? God, the spiders are such little... passive fishes. <sighs> come on. Okay, and now he'll come in here? Are you kidding me? Oh my... I'm just gonna tank it. Mm, not taking that. Okay, back off. There's something else making a noise over there. It's not me. Spinduin loses in damage against him looking dope. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh! He shot me. Nice. No, he's still alive. Ah! We'll wait. Mm. Daniel, what's up? Welcome back in. I think there's another giant one, though. What was making all that noise? It wasn't him. Something. Yep, a giant something for this reason. A wraith? Meow. Did you hear the cat? Or is that Ginger? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized. One you must now face. Lucas, what's up? Welcome in. Strange land. We're good. <laughs> We're good at football and fried chicken. There's more specters that I have to deal with. The bees. This is such an interesting quest. All right, let's just, I'm not gonna bother with Yarden. And we're just gonna keep on hitting the specters. And then he can break my Quen. I know, see, that's the problem with the headphones. Because now I don't know if it's the... You're right, now I don't know if it's the game or if it's actually Ginger. Oh, no worries, get out of here. Do not allow yourself spoilers. Like, the DLC is so precious. Make sure you enjoy that on your own. Like, get out of here. Uh, alright. But the other specter. Yarden. It's the Southern Yarden. The di- <laughs> Gotta tend to the Yarden. Extinguish the flames. I'm gonna actually put our torch on in this segment. Aries, Aries, what's up? Welcome back in. Happy Sunday, fun day. And thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row. Another incredible person from YouTube. Thank you. Thanks, good job. Yeah, it's definitely an adjustment. It's definitely an adjustment. I know, I'm gonna give you snacks soon. Just be a little bit more patient, my love. Another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. The paintings. The yarden. <laughs> oh. Family dinner. This looks like it couldn't have gone well. There's no shot. Just a little different than the painting. Mmm. Urban, what's up? Welcome back in. No, we definitely need to find that painting. So we need to match this painting. Uh, the chairs, the wine glass. Am I a speedrunner? I look like a prepared. <laughs> Tell George what's up, welcome back in as well. Uh, since it's Sunday, it might as well be Monday. So it's Toussaint basically wine. Friday. Expensive. Well, Toussaint wine. Urban, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row and welcome back in as well, y'all. It's a big bear. Still more scared of a moose, but that's a big bear. Uh, yeah, time flies, Irvin. I know. Seriously, thank you. There's something we have to do with that. 
I thought that, okay, so this one's already set up. Everything matches that. Aries, thank you for the hunter bits as well. Oh, Maggie does her daily God Award puzzle shenanigans. <laughs> uh, which one? That's the question. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. The doll, perhaps? Silver thread, pearls. Doll must have cost a fortune. The what? A doll like that? Maybe they were expecting? Toad's Law, thanks for the follow and welcome in. Seen this hairbrush. It was in bad shape in the real world. Yes, it was out in the back. I feel like this is tied to a child. I know there was that painting. There might be something up here. Mm. <laughs> is it that different between seeing somebody with a headset versus headphones? Is there really nothing up here? Oh, part 13 in the desert witch puzzle. Are you talking about the Nornir chest? All right, so go back over here. Now that we've seen everything in this picture, what is it missing? He's looking over. The food is right, the people are right. The chairs, perhaps? I mean, obviously that is on the floor, but we already looked at that. Actually, he should be looking. There is something off here. It's so obvious. You didn't solve a puzzle in one, not that it's a puzzle, but you didn't solve something in like 0.1 seconds. Use your Witcher senses to find a way to restore the memory. I guess maybe if I light everything, I bet lighting it probably brings it back to life. Maybe not. I mean, look at the painting. Probably lighting the fireplace itself, too. I don't think that's on. Yeah, that's probably got to be it. Fire was burning in the painting. Still something missing, though. So we got the fire. We have this. This was down. This chair needs to be down, right? No, it was just pulled out. It actually wasn't. Guys, I got it. Thank you, guys. I'd say. Okay, the last one is off. Gotcha. It is, in fact, the light. There we go. Eating in the dark ain't fun. <laughs> it's such a small thing. I was focusing more on the people than the lighting. My darling, is everything all right? Iron bleeding, you guys. You seem pale, good. out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Mm. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, Ah, and uh, this for you. Bank notes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh. Oh, kid. Mmm. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. Yeah, oh, that's a such a mom. And a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? With that rabble? He's a intri he's a complex character. Like there's more to it. We talked about this at the end of the last one. Specter! <laughs> She's figured out harder puzzles in other games she was thinking. <laughs> Y'all have a... It goes either way. Like, sometimes you guys are like, oh yeah, this one took me a little bit to figure out. Or you guys are brutally like, how have you not solved it yet? Mm. Not you again. Oh, that guy. I don't like this place. Just wreck it all. Look for the memories. Okay, so there should be one more too. But it does tell us to go upstairs and over to the side. Um, 
I think there's more there to him and I've really been enjoying this. I feel like as I get older, I love seeing more of like the villain or the antagonist just be more than one-sided. I think it was such a thing for a while to have them just be like the bad guy. And I like when there's more to it. That was a reason why I really liked Last of Us 2 is it kind of showed you behind the scenes in that. La Croak. Oh, I didn't see that one. I just didn't see the one. Mm. Yeah, I haven't formed my judgment on him yet at all. I don't have enough to go off of. And I am waiting to the end of the story. If you like puzzles, you should play The Witness at some point. That just makes me think of the movie with Harrison Ford. Iron and Bleeding Sun. Guys, thanks for the followers and welcome in. Mm. Yeah, 100%. It is definitely a sign of good writing. I don't know. I go back and forth on loving pu with blood. puzzle games. Tao stained with blood. She might have had a... Rick's almost gone. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if she looks pregnant. Um, Yeah, Philly, what's up? Welcome back in. Let me do this one, too. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. Who's pretty much not a good character? Wait, what are you talking about? Everyone is dead on the inside. Well, the there's like nothing and now you guys are popping one, off. I think. Yeah, I go back and forth on liking puzzle games. I think that puzzle games can be one of the most uh, difficult things to play on stream or recording because you're putting your thought process out there and your critical thinking skills. And I feel like that's a very like much more of an intimate thing than or it's just not an easy thing to do because you're just like throwing it out there for everybody to judge. He has flaws. He's not like a one dimensional character. Okay, so we're placing this... A towel? No, 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 no. Right. So the bowls... What is this, a night lamp? It probably wasn't a night lamp. The bloody towel? Maybe the bloody towel? Okay, the bloody towel. That's it. Master what, Mirror. What time yes. is it? 100% random. It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Blood. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxen first soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Mm. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. I shall finish your portrait. We haven't seen the flower happen yet, so I we haven't even touched the surface. Like, we haven't even gotten to where they've had a disagreement. Jean, Jean, what's up? Welcome back in. And Hassan with the emote only. That is true. Anytime you talk about a character, it's like chat blood gig. It's unlocked. Hmm. She is really nice. I'm wondering how she... I mean, there's so much to tell here. memory. Like, they're still in happy marriage bliss, you know? Rain man. All right, so he's sitting down. She painted all geared, but the details actually... are off. Living tableau's missing something. The fruit, a basket of fruit. I do want to take anything that we're even not going to use in this Got moment. It. Like the one in the painting. But there also should be a bowl of fruit right there. Nice. Fresh. Very nice. As if someone just rinsed it. But that means we're gonna need to put fruit there. Living tableau has gotta look just like the painting. Soul, Soul and also um, I saw Johnny. Johnny, welcome back in. Choose to place for the. Mm. Hold on, I need to go back and look uh, at it one more time. Still not right. Excuse me, let me peep this. Bam, Errol. All right, the grapes are to the far left. Goblet in the back and apples in the front. Living tablet to the goblet first. The goblet of fire. Uh oh, okay, so I guess middle then technically. Maybe on yeah. this side. And then choose a place for the apple, which is the right side, and then the other one's the left side. This goes here. This is a fun quest. It's just different it's so different from anything else we've done. Ellie. Fits, I think. 
It Finally, fits. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. <laughs> you were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, mm. still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm. You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Oh, Geard, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. Mm. I don't wish to discuss this. Oh, Geard. He's got a great mustache. Oh, He's had the same facial hair. It's a staple. Khaled. Kale, Khaled, thanks for the uh thanks for the follow and welcome in and rain with the hydrate. What's our Okay, we're getting even closer. The Viper gear is in within reach. Scenes from a marriage. I keep waiting for it. The other Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Do not get on no. Oh my gosh. Ginger. <sighs> She's on the spine of the chair. You're not as young as you used to be. Ma'am. Oh my gosh. Ma'am, your legs, your legs. Oh, Ginger. Oh no. Okay, let me give her her treats, you guys. I'm sorry, we need to pause for a second. She needs her treats and then I need to let her out. She's going crazy, cat. You're going suicide, kitty. <laughs> like, I'll try to put her up on my, my balcony because she loves, like, be she likes being outside, but not outside, if that makes sense. But I'm always scared that she's she's kind of like a I don't know how intelligent she is. And I've seen her sometimes trying to get close to the edge and I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, guys, let's give Ginger some treats real quick so she can get back to being herself and then we'll let you out. You don't want treats. Do you want treats? <gasps> can you say thank you? London, Zen, Darpass, Spat, wait, wait, Southpaw. And then what was the other one? Star pass Zen. There's one more. Is there one more? Zen. All right, let's do kitty treats real quick and then we'll get back. Say thank you. Is that it? Oh my gosh, look at that face just come alive. My puppy like that too. Sometimes they're just like that. She just likes to beeline for danger. I think it's like keeping me on my toes, honestly. But that was crazy. She's so, like she is, she looks young, but her bones, her brittle bones. Can you say thank you? Say thank you, chat. You got to give left paw. I saw it. You're about to do left paw. That's right paw. That's right paw. Was that a left paw? Was the first one left paw? That's right paw. That's right paw. <gasps> That's a left paw. <laughs> She's fiending for it. The crunching. You get it? Get it. Get it. <gasps> left paw. She did a left then a right. A left then a right. Say thank you. Stereotype. Thanks for the stretch. Give me one second. Oh, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Oh, the left paw. Say nom nom nom. Okay, one more. And then we're gonna do alien. One more than alien. See? It tastes good. Ah, oh, oh, you dropped it. Ma'am. She always drops one because she gets to get it later. The little ginger muffin. <laughs> the one person with the name ginger muffin that has a sub to the channel. London, thank you so much for the thousand bits to left paw. Ready? There it is. You got it. You can get it. Do we? You got it. That's right paw. Right paw. Left paw. Left paw. She gives up too easy. My puppy likes to take a bite. She's left so many scars in here. Ginger will bite my finger sometimes. Let's see if she'll do it. We'll see if she actually does it. There it is. He's right there. If she's really hungry, but I don't think she's that hungry today. Can you say alien? Say alien. <laughs> say alien. Okay. These are treats. Like you have fingies. No fingies. She doesn't even want fingers today. Okay. Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Yeah, I do have a hobbit tat. I do. All right, let me just let her out real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, this is so 
feels weird to not have like the earbuds to take out. Oh, wow. I can hear everything so clearly. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye bye now. Now I don't have to worry about her jumping off anything. She's about to fall off of the chair. She's going to break her legs. Okay. Back to it. I say thank you. Ah, Ponch, what's up? Welcome back in. How's it going? Oh, the little alien. An alien. You missed the caretaker by Moody. It was so good. Uh, I bet it was a little anticlimactic, though, because I did kill him first try. It wasn't that difficult as much as I expected. But. Ah, uh, because I got new, I have new earbuds, like over the head earbuds. Or ear, I keep saying over the head earbuds, but. I just switched to doing these ones. The other ones broke and then I also just got these and I've been trying to make them Bluetooth. It is kind of weird to have my hair. I have to like separate it so my hair is not being like smushed down. Um, but I'm just trying to switch to doing over the head like a headset. If mom won't pay attention to me, I must break my legs for attention. And of course I give it to her. It's a classic cat thing to do. She never wants my attention until it's too late. Insulting the gardener again. I'm not insulting the gardener. He just was a little too. I thought it was gonna be harder. Okay, but I know it's not souls. I know No, Shaka, we're waiting on the new controller. We're waiting for it to come out, which I don't think I don't think there's been any updates on it at all I used to have the momentum twos. These ones I really like but I don't have anything to compare them to before this I just had a hyper I have like hyper X's like when I first started streaming maybe two years ago but I think they're incredible. I didn't realize how little I can hear. Like, they're not completely sound canceling, like noise canceling, but... Let's see if we can... Oh, you can't loot anything. Oh, sh... Hold on, specters. Yeah, they're not completely noise canceling, but they're still really good, and they're comfortable. I'll usually, like, I just started listening to my podcast using these, like, during the day when I'm kind of, like, moving around. I don't have them set up for Bluetooth yet. Oh, my God. Hmm. I know you guys were talking about Wulong. Oh, Snapple. Hold on, back it up, back it up. I need to actually heal real quick. Sa oh, shh. Mm. Yeah, Sennheiser is known to be pretty good. I had a pair of their earbuds. The squeegees weren't the best. The bathroom without her. <laughs> My cat does that. Ginger doesn't like if I'm even, like she puts her paws underneath the bathroom door if she wants to come in. She doesn't like me to have closed doors with her. I mostly use my AirPod, AirPod Pros now. It's crazy because I just got the, you guys know I got the iPhone. I pretty much follow whatever is on sale whenever it's time for me to go in for a new phone. So I did finally get an iPhone, but I haven't gotten the AirPods. I feel like they look like little cigarette butts in your ear and it's not about visuals, I know, but I just haven't committed to it. I also have two pairs of bows. Oops. Um, so I just haven't wanted to like render those useless and just go get a pair of AirPods. Like unless I got AirPods, then I probably wouldn't use them if I had some other ones. Mm. Smoke out of your ears. I actually really like, there's some new beats that are super small and they just sit in your ears. Um, the beats that I had a long time ago were the like wrap around. I think they still make that exact design for working out, which I do think for working out, especially running, it is nice to have the over the head design. Those are so much better than AirPods. I think I see the allure to it. Like I will say that it's been awesome having the uh, iPhone with the MacBook because I now get the integration, like being able to just Most airdrop. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Interesting. Is this how he somehow got Mirror? Like summoned Mirror? Blood pacts. Yes, Ponch. Yes. Presences. Mm. A tome about parleying with demons. Blood packs. Whoever summons a visitant, visitant into your realm risks much. Whether flickering as a spirit in the ether or inhabiting the flesh of a des designated host, the visitant shall strive to attain its liberty, and if it does, it shall wreak havoc. 
Thus, a visitant must be summoned only within a protective circle, which shall bind it to no, oh, bind it as no fetters could. Mm. You flip your hair and the AirPod goes flying. <laughs> the circle must be complete and eternal with no ruptures. Its line must be drawn with a steady hand firm gripping the chalk. Since a stray step made, since a stray step made, made the carelessness or the vistance trickery can smudge the line, and the circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. A circle thus protected shall stand as sure an inescapable prison for the visitant. The visitant. I wonder if she did most of the paintings. The yeah. Winter. I feel like she did most of the paintings found in the house as well. Not a peach. What's up? Welcome back in. Mm, yeah, it's a good ecosystem, Howie. But yeah, I just, I, I mean, like, I wish I wasn't. Sometimes it, there's certain things that I do care about the visual look versus not. Um, and that's one of those things that I, I do. And if you had them, you could switch between Mac and iPhone. I can do that with my bows, though. I can already do that. Probably not as effortlessly. Pentagrams like effortless. Here to bind summoned beings. So we need to place. Clear, though. We need to place the candle. Them, I can set out the candles. Piece chalk candles. candles. Piece of chalk. chalk. Blood. Or some kind of magic, I bet. Blood. I do recommend them, especially if you've got an iPhone or the MacBook Pro. They're so convenient and comfortable to wear between long periods of times. So, the only re the another reason why like. I also am happy with the over the headphones and also Naughty Peach, thank you, is I have a piercing that most earbuds irritate and it's probably on me for getting the piercing in the first place, <laughs> but it's like, uh, it's the Tragus the gates of mystery. and the AirPods the press world. against it. The library of an occultist. Between worlds. Of all the beings inhabiting the outer spheres, the spirits of the elementals are most foreign to human nature. They possess a will of their own and are intelligent, though not in the way of men, for there is no way to fathom their drives and intentions. Genies, the most powerful of the elemental spirits, prove the most difficult for men to commune with. Only the true masters of magic have perfected this art which demands long years of study and risky experiments. Yet even the most adept at the magic arts cannot tame a genie, merely force it to perform certain acts against its own volition. They say the mage Stamelford once commanded a Dao to move a mountain blocking the view from his tower, but even he could never convince a genie to be willing to be a willing helpmate in his work or give sound advice, for the reasoning of these creatures is beyond human understanding. So the Master of Mirrors, like, you have, like, the wishes. It does almost seem like there is something of a genie S there, but they've never mentioned him being an actual genie. Mm. Purple. These are the Sennheiser Movement Force. Yeah, highly recommend. Uh, the plot magic. Thickens. That should do it. Did you found some? Candles. You found some in the... I have to actually look at the scene first. Or no, 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 I read about it. Circling the pentagram. They're not inside. It's a second barrier. Ah, uh, on the verticals? Okay, I want to say it said surrounding. I don't remember it talking about the verticals. Place candles on the verticals and the circle. I feel like we should just do a circle surrounding it, I think. How about this? Come back. We there must we go. talk. Go away. Project I wish Rock. to be alone. It's not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. A genie, not a djinn. I've met a djinn. I don't know. I don't know. I said genie. Wait, where are you getting that, not land? It's her house, Itachi. Why would she not be walking around? What do you mean? <laughs> what is he doing? Richard, thank you so much for the reset for 10 minutes in a row and welcome back in. What 
other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! No. Mm. I did not expect that. Find a way to escape. I gotta go. It's gotta be something normal. I can go into this painting, right? Yeah, you can go painting to painting. That's so cool. You can have the money and fame. Uh, I need to find shelter. I need to sprint. Oh my gosh. I'm still taking on, wait, what? Can this not stop it? This doesn't stop it either. Find a way to escape from the blizzard. Is there the well, the well? What about the well? Oh, the cellar. Hmm. I don't remember looking at that when it was over there. Ogeard, Iris, and her father. What would I do and what? Yeah, this is gonna be really sad. Richard, seriously, thank you so much for the continual support. Mug. Tankard, but there was vodka in it. This sucks. I mean, this isn't a bad time to do this, but I'm not gonna be able to meditate. And if we have any more fights, it's gonna be brutal. Mm. Okay, torch out. It's a very sad quest. Alex, what's up? Welcome back. So this in. is when he started smoking. Mm. All right, so we have to place the cup back in his hand and put something over there. We need a lantern. Damn, he didn't let any of them inside. Rorschach, what's up? Welcome back. In. Be sure to check the painting next time you're leaving a burning home. There. Scroll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Contract between Iris and Olgird. Prenuptial agreement. We, the undersigned, Iris and Olgird, have agreed to seal our love in a marital contract and to bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let the document stand as an oath before the gods and all that we hold holy, that till death do us part. We shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearings to each other's requests and opinions. If separation shall come, we shall each retain all property, both movable and immovable, which we brought into this marriage. And additionally, we shall keep any presents given by the other during the duration of the marriage. The income which each receives, each shall spend as he or she sees fit, with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep of mutual possessions, being divided equally between the parties. Signed, Iris and Olgren. So he's definitely reading the marriage contract. No, he's not. not quite. Oh. Or he's still incomplete. Oh, but he is. But he is. And then we're doing the cup. So that's how he wiled away the long winter evenings. Master Punk, what's up? Welcome back. Furthermore, here. it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and get to mm. the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. Ah. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. Uh. You shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants! Just like that? Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts! Holy cow. Interesting, Django. Uh, add more with up, welcome back in. Yes. I'm gonna need to put, uh, I need to put Quen on. Because I have to be s super careful here. This specter. Alright, one down. 
Nice. That was really hard to watch. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Arlen, what's up? Welcome back in. Add more. You can meditate to refresh, but it doesn't actually meditate. Oh, okay, so I can click it. Oh, that's how I was able to regain them before. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Mace, welcome back in. Ah, uh, that's how, like, earlier I had gotten them back and I didn't understand it without being able to. Okay, that's really cool. Do you see that purple thing? Schmeagle, what are you on about? I think Iris needs... Alright, we'll follow it. So we need to go back upstairs. Oh, wait, what's this? That's it? We're just endlessly examining it. There is something else here. There's a knife. I'm just stealing anything I can. It's interesting that they offer you more to the scene than what's actually there. I guess they want you to pay particular attention to it as well. This barrel is very interesting. Yeah, Novin, there's much more to this, but I also find that I guess they didn't need to show a lot of scenes to really depict how his pact really was the down, like his downfall, and it drove even the people that he loved the most away. Okay, we're going over there. I don't want to. You could have had it show different things. If I had placed the knife, could I have placed the knife and it would have changed the outcome? Don't actually answer that yet. Okay, I know it wants me to go out here. I remember. The caretaker. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. But the caretaker's here as well. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> ah. The boy, the barrel had a voice message before the cutscene. Ah, so I needed to interact with it a lot sooner. Mm. A large clay bowl. Skywalker, welcome a back in. For soup, maybe. Claw scratches. Claw scratches. He was gonna get wasted, but he decided not. <laughs> Best not to. Probably for the cat. There we go. And then the dog probably has the large bowl. Well, let's interact with everything we Single can first. Place setting. No others on the table. Mmm. Thanks, Skywalker. The story was about what his pact means. The food tray we'll need to loot because we'll need to put it over mm -hmm. there. Vals, thanks for the follow and welcome in. The caretaker would be bringing the platter to them then. And so in that case, let me examine- Animal hair. Animal hair. Mm. Purple, yeah, this is my first playthrough ever. I think this was yours. The big bowl for the doge. And then the caretaker has the Perfect food tray. Match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. Their eyes are freaky. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. Mm. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Look at her. I wish to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Mm. Go, Olgeard. I want you out of my sight. Olgerd von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. Hmm. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. He just needs some food. We're almost at our journey's end. Jasmine, What's welcome there? back. Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Oh. 
So these are all his creations. The animal eyes are actually really cool. If you look at them closely enough, it's almost like a marble that's like moving around that has these like red hues and it's very cool. Creepy, but cool. I love that. He failed to see that these creations couldn't replace him. Mmm. Bunny. It's where the fun begins. All right, I already looted this place, but. So the f memory she feared the most. My dearest wife, letters from old gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in hell and remember but the good times, all geared. Remember but the good times. Yeah, he didn't love her more that he remembered he should love her. So no couples therapy? Uh, we go with no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. AG, what's up? Welcome back in. There's multiple. TJ, have a great rest of your day. Uh, TJ, I hope you have a great start to your week as well. Thanks for hanging around. This is gonna be a badass fight. Okay. And you'll not be back. Iris's greatest fear. Ooh. Ah, that's right. I can't do heavy attacks right now. So I'm not able to do any damage to him. Let's try just Yarden. Maybe Yarden would do the trick against him. There we go. Somehow. Hmm. Ow. There are balls of fire. So we did damage before to him. We're doing damage right there. Hmm. I don't know if it's actually... I know. You guys, I got this. Even if I am fighting with a torch. Come on. Death holds no surprises. Hmm. The other one's coming alive, I think. Maybe. Hmm. That last minute dodge? Woo! There we go. Okay, so I think Yarden is impacting him pretty heavy. Whoa, not today. Alright, let's place this. Oh. Uh, now I know what it feels like when Siri goes through somebody. I don't like it. me up oh my gosh I actually might die hold on I need to heal up I need to heal up I need to heal up oh you can still do damage without okay okay this is a really cool fight That's a dangerous man you've chosen to work with, Butcher. Okay, that one should be going down soon. He's fast. Put Quen back on. Okay, two left. Which one's coming alive? That one. Mm -hmm. 
I've got to live off of. I think the Yarden was helping, though. If a stubborn mm. beast be, I have no choice. I'm just taking it slow. I want to get my health back first. But I also do have Quinn, so I can still be a little aggressive. But I think you can only damage him when he's showing the, like, when he's glowing. I should be, I honestly should try to parry him too. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. Some more damage. Take one more swallow. You under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Nice, one hit. I think you just have to let him deliver his like talks too. You said they nerfed him. Okay, last one. Oh, I still have Quinn up. I didn't have to worry about that. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think that was going to do damage to him. To live happily ever after. Mm. Woo. Even the fog, the frog got nerfed too. Did they nerf everything in the DLCs? Ah, I already saw Scream Six add more. And Royal Spin, thank you so much for the reason for nine months in a row and welcome back in. First try, baby. Sorry, these fights have been kind of like not as exciting as I'd like them to be. That one was a little bit more difficult than the caretaker for sure. Hmm. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. In the road? Yeah, after Souls games, it's hard to find something that, like, challenges you in the same way. But that was still a good fight. I thought it was still a good fight. I think with this, it's hard to manage your potion sometimes and I use the Raffords to I think I use it in a mm. I'm sorry I mistook you for another Aww. for all geared to the, go. I Jeez. thought he'd returned to me what are you a ghost an illusion not a specter I am sadness Hmm. Wow. Wow. We've met before. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. Then I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Hmm. I wonder if it's still even... Like, she had to have held on to it this long. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time, I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So... The rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. Uh. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, Yes. I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is all geared? The sketchbook. Healthy? Does he fare well? Hmm. 
I do want to, you guys know me, I, I pretty much will do any of the dialogue outside of this. Herb, that's an interesting point too. I think that is that is something to take away from this, is if you're fighting like a witcher, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I'm fighting very much like a souls player <laughs> with how patient I go in for like the right timings and stuff. That's why I was saying like I don't block hits and that honestly, that's obviously not going to make... Um, a fight as interesting or as fast paced. If you were actually trying to like block his hits, it'd be different. It'd be more of like a dance of blades. And watermelons, thank you for the follow. Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Oh, yes, we get to find out. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Mm. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? He pretends to be happy, but he isn't. I mean, to be honest, I... Uh, it's so hard to judge that. Gab, welcome in. Dodging or repairing, in my opinion. Yeah, I like a nice combination of them, but I haven't been doing a lot of parrying in this game whatsoever. I kind of want to say he doesn't deserve your concern. I want something maybe more neutral. I mean, he realistically is doing all right. He only... Did he not only bring up... I thought he... No, there was a little bit more to it, but... He pretends to be happy, but he isn't. But I feel like more the cause of his unhappiness right now is the debt and knowing that Odin is like on his, you know, on his trail, especially now that he presented Geralt as his proxy. Hmm. And also, what does she need to hear? We still need to get the rose from her. I'm going to go with this one. Your husband. Hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. Mm. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. But won't by completing the wishes cause both of them to... D like, if he wished for both of them immortality, does she not want to move on? Like, out of all of this? The cats. The rose more than a memento. Got a feeling the rose is important to you more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real. Mm. And I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As right. might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. He's a little, look, obviously you're seen better days. I don't days. wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing at all. Um... Pez, welcome in, by the way. I know I was just about to compliment her. Her voice actress is really good. Like, the emphasis in certain words. Can you give me the rose? I can't take the rose. 
Fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing left. The reality is it's just sad. I mean, if she ceases to exist, her existence was... I mean, yeah, sadness, right? Like, she did say she is sadness. Do I ask her for the rose or say I can't take the rose and allow her to offer it willingly? This is where, this is one of those situations with, please don't like say anything, but this is one of those situations where how I interpret these two options might be different than what actually happens. Because when I say, when I think of saying I can't take the rose, Master Punk thinks for the stretch, I think maybe she'll offer it, right? And maybe she needs to do that, like this needs to come from her. And then with it saying, can you give me the rose? I don't know if that's like, she'll come back and say she can't to begin with. So they might, uh, I mean, he's gonna take back the rose either way. I'm gonna say I can't take it. The Bachelorette. <laughs> I can't take the rose. <laughs> Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still. And she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Mm. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. Okay. What should I do? What do you want me there to do? There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted her to decide. I do not know what I want. Freaking. This is so dear. I'm so very, very afraid. This is like deciding where to go for dinner with somebody. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What do you want to do? Now don't start this again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you two, why do you want me to take the rose so badly? I do want to know that. She's unsure. She's scared. I know, but still. <laughs> Maya, Armia, guys, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Oh. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. <laughs> why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Sartor. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because mm. you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her Shit. days. And didn't come with her death. So you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves. So you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, you're more of a crack exist, than a crack shot. You'll also be free. <laughs> they you're do right. want to. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Mm. Can we be blamed for simply to leave the stage? Her fate no longer. Ah, uh, Falky, what's up? Welcome back in just default to Taco Bell. <laughs> I think that I'm glad this was... Ah, uh, this needs to end. I'm taking the rose. Not my place to decide Iris' fate. I won't take the rose. <sighs> I hate this. Yeah, the game is so full of good quotes. Demons are nice. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Sartorial, and Sartorial, welcome back in, and I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Uh, I know, no, that's the thing, is like, I know she's suffering, but I feel like the bulk of her, like, the bulk of her existence was suffering, or maybe most of the suffering was after a certain point. Like, she was happy at one time, right? But a lot of this, too, is... Oh, actually, that's a different game that I'm thinking of. A lot of it is like letting somebody decide their own fate and not taking that from another person. I just want her to offer it. Why can't I say I won't take it and she'll just give it to me? I feel like she needs to decide. This needs to end. I'm taking the rose. I feel like this is maybe one of the more unpopular ones, and I also kind of want to do it to show us all a different outcome, too. The thing is about this entire quest is... I'm also overthinking and I'm like, I know I'm thinking way too much because now I'm like, oh, what if this decides the outcome? Like, am I saying no to doing the Odin quest? I need her to give it to me willingly. I need her to accept this. I'm not going to take her decision I from her. Your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. 
So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world, while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. Olgird, I wish to be with Olgird, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. You chose that option too. Oops, what's up? Welcome in. I I think doing the stuff with old. I thought doing the stuff with uh, like bringing back the rose would end ultimately put an end to her anyway. I just couldn't do that. I that's not my choice to make. I chose this option too the first time. Interesting. Mm. Paintings changed. Got the violet rose there now. Interesting. And Iris, ready to see her husband again. Kaz, what's up? Welcome back in, by the way. Hmm. I didn't choose to torture them all. I mean, I think that it. This scene plays out very differently depending on how you see that situation. In the moment, I internalized it as like, I didn't want to take that. I feel like she needed to give the rose willingly and accept that she was going to stop her own suffering. I mean, yes, technically it might be my choice and that's what witchers do all the time. I mean, I know that's the bulk of the game too, is like this deciding, even though I feel like we shouldn't be deciding, but maybe I know even in the book, he kind of talks about like, maybe perhaps that's what they hide behind is their code. Um, but yeah, I mean, every single person's going to internalize or focus on specific parts in that scene. And I just, I'd answered based on what I was pulling the most out of that scene, which was, I think she needs to be the one to end her own suffering in a way. I mean, I feel bad for all of them. I also, this goes back to, they did give you a second option. I do like that they gave you like, after your first answer, they're like, hey, are you sure you want to do that, right? Like, are you super sure? You wanted to, actually that's true, wait. Oh, we're super close to 29. Uh, Sullivan, welcome in. They were like, are you, do you wanna double down on this? And I was like, mm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like it might be different than the majority of people, but I'm okay with my choice there. Tether, what's up, welcome back in. I don't think she could have made that decision, but glad you're happy with it. Yeah. Huh? All right, so we need to head out. We need to meet him. I also was choosing that because I felt like Olgrid having all of this go away in the first place, finishing all three of the wishes, I feel like it would make all of them dissipate anyway. He just cut into her pain, effectively stabbing her. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm in Aries if you follow that stuff. Click, welcome in. Damn. The game is very good. I think that... It's another one of those situations. It's weird how it's showing. Oh, it's showing me outside of this. I think this is the first time I've actually seen you wear a headset. I just, yeah, I, I just got it. I told you guys that I was getting rid of the squeegees. I'm so happy about it. Her choice was eternal sadness or potential or an ethereal, wait, wait, eternal nothingness. Not an easy choice. None of these are easy. This is the same way as like, you could look at what happened with um the, I almost said the butcher. Not the butcher. Who am I thinking now? The beginning one with the crones, you know, all the different outcomes, like the children died in my outcome, the lady lives, but then the lady, yeah, bloody baron. That just shows you the pace of the entire game. Like none of it is an easy choice, but I think your choice is also very dependent on you as a person. So you guys saw what I chose to focus on in that moment. I wasn't even thinking as much about like ending her suffering as I was feeling like I can't be the one to make that decision for her. Hmm yeah 
might not be. Hey, that's actually, I've had a lot of comments and that's one of the things that I love about different playthroughs. I think that's why we like to watch other playthroughs is I'm not gonna, I'd be so bored if I watched a playthrough that was the same outcomes that I went with. I've done a lot of playthroughs and you guys have been like, wow, I never saw that outcome. Um, so I stand by all of my decisions made. I'll tell you guys when I regret a choice that I've made in a game or somebody that I've killed. I need to get out of here. Uh, how did we go through the first time? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, we're still in the first DLC. The Bloody Baron quest, the kids died. The woman, his wife was left alive. Can I travel to Dusant today? The wife was left alive and what else? What else? I think that was the, that was the ultimate outcome. I've never seen the consequences of not fixing the wall play out. Where did I come through? Oh, right here. Uh, I took the rose because I think about Geralt as a protector. He makes choices for people who can't go places. See, that's a really interesting, um, that's a really great take on it. I also, I feel like it's really important to remember that when you're streaming a game too, I'm thinking about you guys. I'm thinking about the game. I have a lot of things going on in my head. And so I'm trying to internalize as much of the game as possible but sometimes elements of it are just missed uh that could contribute to a different result in my choices um so i often don't sit and think enough i'm either overthinking the wrong parts or i'm not thinking enough about a choice <laughs> okay we can just fast travel from here i think or i'll take here and also clutch all right i already saw you but guys thank you for the follows and welcome in just to save the children during the bloody baron quest i didn't fully grasp that see that was another part where i missed i i want to say that i just kind of missed the important part about how the children were going to be lost if i killed that but i didn't trust that entity under the tree i want carol to make my choices i'm a very indecisive person i am too i'm a very indecisive person the gaming, uh, streaming a game produces different outcomes than if you were playing the game alone. And another part that I try to drive home with people is, especially when it comes to when you watch playthroughs, you've had time to digest the game and think about your actions during certain sequences. Like I'm, I'm doing this in real time. So I'm not sitting there and reflecting on choices I've made or things that I've done too, too much, you know? But then, like, I can be much further away from a game and look back on, like, my playthrough of Last of Us or stuff like that and realize, like, oh, shoot, I made a big mistake. Like, uh, now that I look back, I think wow. of it very differently, you know? The more time you have to think about something, I feel like the stronger your opinions can be in that moment. Daily, what's up? Welcome back in. Hmm... I was totally right not to trust the tree spirit. That said, you didn't figure out who the tree spirit was, right? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. If you want to make a stream, uh, you have to let a few video game children... <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh, what would Geralt do? We do do that. What would Geralt do? Your choice is the morally correct one at first glance. However, when you go through the other choice, it kind of feels right as well. I think you can justify both. I think you can... Yeah, I think that both, it depends if you're looking at it as, I like the, um, I missed who said it, but I like the approach of like, Geralt is this protector and he's making choices for some people that can't. I don't necessarily see him as a protector. I think that that was something that the book kind of highlighted where he, even him, when he first left Kier Morin, he has this scene where he talks about how he saved a woman from being raped on the side of the street, I want to say, as her father like ran away and stuff like that. And he wanted this, basically, I think he go, wanted go. them to be grateful of him protecting them and stepping in. But that was not the case at all. She was left like struck or she was like cowering on the ground, of course. And then her father ran away and there was no thanks to be had for him stepping in in that situation, being almost like a protector. And that's where he kind of like changes back to like witchers hide behind their moral Come on. Uh, their, or their code where they don't really step into those kind of things because they told him not to step into those situations. And that's like the first thing he did when he left. I think he said it wasn't even like 30 miles out. Hey uh, Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in, sorry. Hurt for me to justify depriving her of the choice of escaping sadness. I also think that I wasn't, I feel like I needed to decide in that moment, so I wasn't thinking about it as much as I could have. I didn't look at it 
from every side possible. Wait, the tree spirit. That's the- that's why a lot of people like the Bloody Baron quest, I think, because it shows you what you should expect from the rest of the game, is it is morally ambiguous at times. Hmm. Defending Roach or Vess from Ziggy and leaving them to die. Yes! They help defend Siri at Kier Morin. Yeah. Yeah, I chose that one. I truly believe Geralt just wants to be left alone. Sorry, I need to keep writing on. I'm trying to catch all of y'all's messages. I'm sorry if I'm missing anything. I do like Hearts and Stone, uh, Hearts of Stone. I love this DLC. I'm interested in Tucson. I think that we're close. What do you mean about Geralt's choice to save the girl? Wait, which one? What about it specifically? It's like texting and driving. I think I'm just gonna fast travel from here. What do you mean it's like texting and driving? Hearts and Stoners, the next DLC. <laughs> Hearts of Stone. I also haven't played Gwent yet, so I feel like it's uh, impacting my choices for the record. Toussaint. Love me some croissants. I haven't had like a truly good croissant. You're gonna play Blood and Wine right away. I, Andrea, welcome back in. I don't know, you guys told me I still have so much left of this DLC, but now that I, now that you guys are saying these things, I don't think that's true. I don't know, now you guys are... Hold on. Let me finish. I will answer this as soon as I figure out if we're actually close to finishing this or not. I thought we were finishing it today. Please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Wait. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait a looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. He's Some other time. smug. Hey now, don't make me beg. More treats. He's so smug. He knows we got it. Hmm. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. Mm -hmm. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things oh my gosh all right it's finally time to get my answers who are you really who are you really Gauntero Din, also known not what i'm asking ah so you'd rather know what it is i do in brief i give folk what they ask for you might say i simply grab their wishes and get them into trouble That'd be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. <laughs> You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? He's not a djinn. Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say time has always fascinated me. So I taught myself how best to use it. Why time of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, You've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. 
This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a picture. Oh. Small print, which nevertheless changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we share. We three. Quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. Huh, Halation. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking. Oh! What the devil? Why is there a fly in my What suit? the devil? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Took the words out of my see. mouth. How is it you're here? You've been warning me about the spoon since the beginning. How was I to know that's what you meant? Ah, so a uh, very, very cool person. I mean, it'll be really interesting to see if I actually like Blood and Wine more. I probably will end up liking them both equally for their own differences. I'm quick, real quick. I can control time. I'm quick, real quick. I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. No, Just Geralt, you don't. Qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. Mm. What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. That's why I don't eat soup. <laughs> your friend, the medic. She were here. Shani. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Yes, uh, yes, somebody else mentioned that he's, yeah, he was at the auction house and I didn't even see him. <coughs> Whatsoever. He was there, alive, a moment ago. Blind, drunk, I didn't do it. Oh. Gotta go by you. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to Shawnee. It's optional, but I want to make sure that we actually do that. Yeah. This is really cool. Hold on. I'm, I know I'm missing some messages. I'm sorry. Uh, it's your favorite game of this generation. Better than TV shows. Interesting. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You can actually spot him in the background. Yeah, Jacob, we saw that a few times. RCT, how was I to know that you were referencing the spoon the entire time? That's when I knew I didn't want any spoons around me anymore. It's really, um, I don't know if I've really met a character that I'm so fearful of and drawn to at the same time. Do you not remember the spoon snap on the shipwreck? Now I don't, actually. No, it's been a, that I will say the first part when we first started doing the DLC, I was still in the post. Uh, I was right in the middle of ending. It was right after I ended the main quest. And so I was in the like post processing phase of that. So I feel like uh, the beginning of this was lost on me li a little bit, a little bit. I still remember most of it, though. The guy with the soup who you talk to is the same guy you saw nail the notice from Olgir. <gasps> Olgir. OK, at the bigger. Ah, I've. Got it. And he also leads us on to Yennefer at the very beginning in Orchard, right? The spoon is very... Ugh. It was the way that he did it and how smooth he did it that like freaked me out. There was no resistance. It just effortlessly glided in there. Okay, let's go talk to her. He plays Gwent. Wait a minute. I mean, who did it best? Odin. Odin. <laughs> Why do I always mess this up? Him or uh, or the Joker? I'm making the no. The Joker did the pencil. Never mind. It wasn't a spoon. Still a really cool scene too. Oh damn! Hot damn! Spoons are a reference to the Master of Mirrors. Johnny. I didn't. Oh. Geralt. Good thing you're here. Oh, John Wick did the pencil. Great. She's leaving. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, 
not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. Oh, this departure. She's finally leaving. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Yennefer blackmailed me. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't mm. turn them down. Just say no. Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Shawnee. Don't go. Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, <clears throat> the time we spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. It's you not you, it's well me. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. <laughs> Shawnee's like a melody in my head that I hate you. <laughs> so, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Hmm. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't focus, need focus. Lock. There's a pizza on your focus. <laughs> an assistant to Professor Termitain <laughs> Shakeslock. Claims Olgird von Not the pizza. met with the professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't mm. even let his assistant look at them. The professor, where will I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Wow, mage hunters? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's yeah. really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to see this professor. JREC FPS and Space Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Sly, I'm gonna have to pull that up in one second. I wanna finish this part up. To talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never Oh, she's coming me. for one last you mission. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. One last mission with there. One last mission. Yes, finally headphones. Notorious. What's up? Welcome back in. Not enough Riz. ZZ, please. Come on. Welcome back to the dad jokes with Sly. What do you call a seasick turkey? A, wo a wobble gobble? <laughs> Not the wobble gobble. What do you call a line of men waiting to get haircuts? A barbecue. And if prisoners could take their own mug shots, they'd call them selfies. I'll see myself out. I've got to say, I've missed the joke, Slyfoot. Now every time you come in, you do like three to play catch up. Sly, seriously, thank you so much for the dad jokes. And if you're headed out, I, thanks for stopping by again. It was great to see you. Did you play Gwent with her? You can play Gwent with Shawnee? Now I can't. I can't unhear it. Shawnee, like, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. So how are things at the academy these days? I you mean, since Radovid shut it down? Can I you mean, actually? Is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but Come assumed here. the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. I'm gonna let her lead it. Mind. So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. I mean, are those, wait, are those shorts or is that a skirt? I can't quite figure out. Are they like jorts? Maybe they're jorts. I talk to Shawnee again immediately after the first time yes. for a reason. What do you want, I should be able to play with her again. I, I think I'll be able to play with her again. Hopefully. And Anon, thank you so much for the gift of the Notorious. Notorious, welcome back in. 
I still need to add Odin's card to your collection. Yes, we, we, yeah, next time we play Gwent, remind me. You're right, you're right. All right, go, Shawnee. It's a squirt. A jort. <laughs> They're like puffy shorts. I thought they were like, I thought they were shorts. Halt! By all or is this No one's allowed inside the academy. That... Not even lecturers? Welcome no back. one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Oh, I recognize wow. him. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. As if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. He took an arrow to the knee. <clears throat> Bruno. Hey. Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. <laughs> no. Well, alone. Which will what? draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? <laughs> How loud is she being in front of them? <laughs> Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. Here's right. what we're gonna do. I'm in. gonna sneak into your house. <laughs> wow, Shawnee. I was loving that moment until she's like, this is what we're gonna do. They don't care. They were right there. Yeet. Oh! That was not the water. That was not the water. <laughs> Bunny, have a great start to your week. Thank you so much for hanging around. Oh my gosh. I thought it was the water. I forgot that there. I, I, I thought it was a moat. I didn't realize that there was. Oh, I can't. Daryl, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did the same thing. <laughs> It looked like it was a moat. I thought I was just surrounded by water. What do you mean? Welcome to my life. <laughs> was an 8.5 out of 10. Just a flesh wound. If that guy can survive, an arrow to the knee. Geralt can survive. No, he'd just snap his, yeah, no, never mind. He probably can't survive that, but still. Spazzy, we are not in a moat only mo. <laughs> that one was good. Spazzy, thank you for the hundred bits as well. Hello, gravity, my old friend. I've come to offer you my body. All right. Wait, that was actually, that's a really cool stabby stab. Oh, I forgot that I have nothing to my name. CC, CC. I need to stick with having Gwen. Can I just. Deldridge! Alright, this one's almost done. Finish him up. There's like little leaping lizards. Hello, darkness, my old Gwen. <laughs> I I feel like Geralt should survive a fall that far. He seems. I, I don't think it's about agility though. I think it's about having rubber legs. He's like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> I've come to talk with you, Arden. Yarden. Yarden. Arden. The Yarden. In the game footage, the camera is fine. Choppy for anyone else. Uh, I think it's this particular spot by the water, maybe? Possibly more, and thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Right before the big update and the fall damage was Yo, ridiculous before just, this? It was even worse? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Yarden. Where did she get? That's a thick rope. Where did you get the Patients rope? From... Long story, but we've done My question, well. exactly. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. I doubt I'll be able to sweet talk already, them. Shawnee. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing, really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, wait. I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. I'll be seeing you soon. 
You could actually die from a small drop. I saw somebody said it was like three feet and you die. But if you roll, you're fine. If you rolled at the end, do you survive it? Carol's not enough with all the stealth. Uh, oh, with all that he steal. <laughs> I've come to fall with you again. Because the tension's up. <laughs> Left my kneecaps tickling. Oh, not the kneecaps. I'm just thinking of the Achilles, not the Achilles. Pellet, no, who's good? Shawnee deserves more screen time. Shawnee gets a lot of screen time in the first one, right? I'm just gonna kill everybody. You can uh, 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 The option is to enter the professor's house. Uh, I don't know if there was sneaking in. Oh, I guess you were supposed to sneak in? Oh, whatever. I mean, is anybody gonna miss these witch hunters anyway? Ooh, that was a very like squishy stab noise. I definitely cut through some organs in that. Oh, ow. Where'd this guy come in? His camera angle, I swanny me bob. Doesn't matter, killing which hunters is a good team. One less problem without them. Spazzy with the stretch and also, you know, with the gift of to Peach Fuzz. Peach Fuzz, what's up? Welcome back. And sorry, guys, I know I'm missing so many messages. There's a lot going on today. Parkour reduces, re ah, the parkour reduces the fall damage. Of course, how could I not know that? Yeah, these guys are, they're thick boys. Uh, Reaper, what's up on it? Welcome in. Shani was in the first game in the books a bit. She's actually only like two years older than Siri. Wait a minute. Huh. Did we ever, I don't think we actually talked about how they met to begin with. I don't think this game covers that, I wanna say. All right, let me take my superior white honey real quick. And then let me put back on Swallow. It's in the books how they met? Okay, yeah, don't spoil it then. And Victor, wait, wait, oh, Sea of Thieves, nice, nice. Victor, thank you so much for hanging around and have a great rest of your Sunday night. And also SR71, thank you so much for the 100 bits and welcome in. Welcome back in, I should say. In the third book, did you see that for a second? I've never been more uncomfortable seeing Carol. Ah! I don't like it. I think it's when I run. It's rendering, it's ah! <laughs> All right, I think we still have to sneak in even if you kill all of them. So we can take this ladder over here. She appears in Blood of Elves. Okay, so I'll actually see it sooner than later. Gen's around the same age as Geralt or a little older. I think she's a little older than him. Just a little. He likes older women. Bald Geralt. I guess they don't give an option for that because his hair is kind of a staple of him as a person. It's me. Here's Geralt. Shawnee's only one year older than Siri. Oh, only one year. He's so scared. To be fair, I'd be terrified too if a witcher just like popped in here. With my torch. What's up? What happened there? Wait, what do you mean? It's the base model for Cyberpunk 2. Hmm. <laughs> Silver Lamin. Don't know the sigil. I've already been used in ages, looks like. Read that. Lots of notes. Spooky. Somebody definitely already worked their way in here. Julian Alboco's lesser key. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Tomes about demons. <laughs> We're investigating somebody's death here while I'm looting everything I can possibly find. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone looking at the screen. Hmm. Franco? Yeah. Is that you? Leave the bed pun in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Mirror. Yeah. How do you get it? Get out. Yeah. Know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out. 
Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. Huh. I'm sure of it. No one sent me. Oh yeah. Or should I say Odin? Oh damn. No one sent me. You lie. I may be blind, but I sense unclean powers better than anyone. Mm. Why do you think the witch hunters guard me like a treasure? I'm a witcher. Hm. A mutant. Hmm. No, Pellet, I think he's yeah. just blind. Could be. Yeah, his house was ransacked recently. But he didn't You're a prisoner here. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. Look what at the do floor. They want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not mm -hmm. enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. But this was an optional task. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. Hmm. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day. Offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gauntero Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures mm. under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gauntor Odim. At times, Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. I didn't know the Man of Glass. I, I don't remember that. In the ancient scroll, and I went blind. Yeah, I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims. Oh, yeah. Thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Hmm, already done. The magic circle on the floor. It's cool because I guess you don't have to do this. Add spoons to the list. What is happening? Sorry. My foot's getting all tangled up. And anime, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Magic circle on the phone. Yeah, Calvin, welcome in. And Anon, thank you so much for the gift of to equal. Hmm. Oh. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? Are you Told sure? Me himself. Oh. Paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, mm. but saw him clearly. He smiled. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me. It started raining outside. He'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. So maybe he told him his name or something? Why would he help him by putting a circle? Was it actually helping? I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not very uh educated in the occult what is happening the master mirror yes eldred welcome back in by the way yeah what else do you know about him know anything else about the that's man? what that's what i'm Don't saying he might have not really helped him no man he is evil playing with his victims evil which assumes various forms forget about him or die you're alive alive yeah i live in constant fear born of what i've mm -hmm. learned about him talk about a deal with the devil Olgierd signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? Mm -hmm. You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. 
He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Mm. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant A wandering wish. witch. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A the wish. Crossroads. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgierd loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Mm -hmm. Olgierd chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. Who was the Wandering Witch? If we recall, we also... No, yeah, that's what I was going to... I was just about to say that, Django. I was like, this son of a gun had us meet at the same crossroads. Add more. I know it's bananas. Calvin, have you played Blood and Wine yet? No, I haven't. That's what everybody's asking if I'm going to go straight on to that. I can't believe all of this is an optional thing. Like, you could have missed all of this incredible background information. I mean, he lays it out a little bit more plainly, too, if it's hard to... Because there are parts that are kind of hard to track when you're getting just, like, small bits of it between side questing and things like that. Blue, Blue, what's up? Welcome back in. Ah! Uh, oh, I didn't know she's doing a subathon right now. What's she playing? Cyberpunk? Oh, nice. Yeehaw! Oh, I'm a cowboy. cowboy! Zaith, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, yeah, no, this is my first playthrough for both of them. You know all of this from Olgrid. Vladimir. This was something I always wanted to know. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No. Oh, okay. No. Damn it, I thought he did. Witcher. Sorry. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Uh, but kind of indirectly, right? He still was to blame for his brother's death. That's basically what he said. Oh. Uh, how do I avoid missing these? What do you mean, how do you avoid missing these? Like when you're doing like your own playthrough? Sway, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in. And thank you for the hydrate as well. Yeah, this is a very supernatural episode. I think that's why a lot of people love the DLCs is they are such a different uh, just taste than the whole main quest. And they really built up an entire beautiful story. I mean, I don't know how beautiful, but it was a great storytelling in this DLC. But I'll save all my thoughts for the very end. You know all of this from him. Did you tell you all that? He had to. He how did. else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Mm. I do want to say for what it's worth, like, I think now that I'm now that I'm away from the moment, I do wish that I had just taken the rose because she was honestly I wanted her to be the one to make her own choice, but she fell victim to the Master of Mirrors because like because of Olgierd. So I do wish I had done that to, you know, end that for her, but I still stand by, like, I think it's a, I think I had the, a good sentiment by wanting her to be able to do that. I was also putting a lot of weight behind hoping that the story did end up with her giving the rose to you and her choosing to move on herself. It's really difficult because whenever you pick these choices, you don't, you don't know the following dialogue, and so it frustrates me sometimes. I know, hindsight 2020. Moving forward, I'm I not- I was all geared out to get rid of Odim. He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? His heart had turned cold as ice. His Here feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Mm. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> mm. No. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact 
by defeating Og Dim at his own okay. game. Meaning? Og Dim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him Gwent? to such a duel. He'll agree and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Soul thing he truly desires. Human souls. So, I mean, I think it's pretty clear who we all think that he is. I know that somebody said his... The beginning of... Well, his name spells out God, but that's only in a taunting manner, too. I think if that was intentional, it would only be in a taunting manner, 100%. Um, definitely not a lemur. Welcome back in. How can I get rid of the mark? The mark of the devil. Gwent addicted. Okay, I mean, it is a game of wits. Come on. Odin left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Better the devil you know. Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Mmm. Right, no, LaCroque, I'm just saying that, like, it is such a taunting, like, it's such a taunting thing. And yeah, Master Amir, yeah. Like, the opposite of, yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of coming together later for me, but it's really cool how they thought out all of this. I just want to see their storyboards. Thank you for your help. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up. Living in fear, why it's pleasant itself. Ah, oh no, thanks. Do I know what it's rubber? I'm waiting for the game. I'm waiting for this to all to end to give you guys my total thoughts on the whole DLC. But yes, Master of Mirrors, this poor old guy. Great side quest though. Um, that was something small that it hid behind C Shawnee before you leave. So I think for a lot of people, if you wanted to like hurry up to the end result, you could have easily skipped seeing this. Gift to the professor was feeling useful after making him feel useless by trapping him. He left. Don't leave the circle, bro. <laughs> All right, let's read that. His journal. Some Final Destination. You know, I've never seen Final Destination. Blow out the candles. Oh, I wonder if you actually... No, you wouldn't have the ability to put the candles out. Mm, that is so cool. I mean, it. it's all... I think what... You can have these really dark stories, and yet it's amazing to me how much... They put detail into it, and every conversation is so purposeful. Invent Wait, Nier, welcome back in. And Trivial, thank you so much for the gifted sub for 34 months to Nier as well. And welcome back. I feel really bad for this guy, but also, was he going to stay there for the rest of his life? It's one of the sad moments in the DLC. Yeah, the guy just tripped. Desert Fox, exactly. Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Professor shakes a lot. Shakes lock. The circle Odim cre created terrifies me. I cannot see it, but I know it is here. I know no name for the sense with which I perceive it. When I near its bounds, strange shivers shoot down my spine. This is not pain, but something that stands my hair on the edge like a hedgehog's quivers. Add them out to my repertoire. My hair's on edge like a hedgehog's quivers. <laughs> A month has passed, and still I stay within the runic circle. Nightmares prey on me more and more. I've come to fear sleep. I know not how long I can stand withstand this. I dreamt I had a daughter. This was strange, for I've never had any children, yet one day to me in my sleep. Yet one came to me in my sleep. She was no older than ten. She called me daddy, and loved me deeply. I could see it in her eyes. The strangest part of all of it was that I also burned for her with a great paternal love. Can one possibly dream of someone who does not exist? Can one love such a one? I no longer fear sleep. Perhaps Odim has decided to give me peace. I have no desire to change his mind. My dreams of Emily, 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 give me great joy. My daughter is a good and clever girl. I believe she will grow into a wonderful woman. A shame she exists only in my dreams. 
not only do I no longer fear sleep, but now I cannot wait for the moment in which it comes. He doesn't even want to be awake anymore. What a fantastic transformation. If nothing changes, I shall soon try to leave the circle. I know now why I've dreamt that for weeks for the child I never had. It was his doing. This night, my daughter died. She caught a strange illness which pocked her whole body with hideous oozing sores. She cried, begging me to help. I could do nothing. She died in my arms. I awoke soaked with sweat. I remain a wreck, my mind tattered, playing with his, yeah, toying with them. Three months have passed since my Emily's death. My heart still bleeds and horrifying visions plague my every moment. I'm a blind man who wishes he saw nothing, for utter blindness could be no relief compared to these tormenting visions. I cannot persevere much longer. I have become a deeply unhappy old man. I have now lived within the magic circle for a year. Thoughts of suicide haunt my mind even more often. It could be, it would be so simple. I need but step outside the runes. Did he intentionally step outside after he finally got his, like he finally felt useful? Is that what somebody had referenced? Maud, thanks for the following month. And infinity, or I, near. It's so great to have you here. Uh, I need to scroll back up. Wait a minute, where did he poop for a year? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think he left on his own accord. He was revealing all about, yes, Odim caused the house to fall apart. Yeah, well, we already saw that his presence was there to begin with, but he was there for an entire year. There was a reason why this game was all, was what all fantasy games strive to replicate for 10, yeah, for the last 10 years. And I feel like, I mean, do you think anything really holds a candle? Uh, I left when the convo with this man started and came back to his slipping. Yeah, it's sad. I agree, Thomas. I'll never forgive the internet for ruining the word daddy. I, I agree. You're probably not wrong about games trying to replicate it. Um, but yeah, Witcher 3 came out in, what, 2015, I want to say? <laughs> He's rounding up. We're already in 2020. There, Garrett goes killing innocent civilians, bringing them down the door. Oh, was it? No, it was the art itself. He slipped on a bottle. Okay, I didn't catch the bottle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cover, welcome back. It was, there was a curse or was it really made up? by god and then he left the professor's mind to the rest i think also there is something that does bring up a good point i mean i think that all you need to do is plant a seed and it just tumbles from there he stepped backwards when the plank cracked yes unfortunately missed the seam oh sounds about right trash sounds about right hmm so I miss a scene important like that, but I don't miss somebody getting stabbed in the eye with a spoon, of course. Of course. All right. <laughs> Bronco, thanks for the follow and welcome in. Plant seed, let it grow. Boom. All right, so now we can meet him. But we know that somebody, I wish you could see the person that outwitted him. That'd be so cool if, like, you got to further, like, go and... But now that we know that with this optional information, maybe we have different dialogue with him. Maybe we're allowed to challenge him at his own game. Where am I going? I need to get out of here. I guess I could just... I think I could go up here. Or can I go out the front door? Hold on. Oh, I don't know if we've ever really been here. Okay, well, let's jump over. For guitar demon? <laughs> it can blow on the fire on the circle. Oh, does it do something special if you do? Winds howling. I mean, yeah, I guess. I was just gonna leave the circle going. Oh, I know. I could have done it in Ard, couldn't I? It's more dramatic this way. Oh, 
Hello? The Ouija board? Is this the one with the man that can't die? Uh... I suppose- yeah. I don't know if I'd exactly say man. Well, I guess. Mooses, what's up? Welcome in. I'm leaving. We're out. It felt like... I, th I honestly thought it was going to be something like the cow. Remember the, uh... Remember the cow? Oh my gosh. Relight it? Okay. I, I was not paying attention to that part. Hmm. Alright, to do this, let's just do Igni, though. We'll write them all at the same time. So just relight them all. Hold on, wrong one. Of course, this is like me trying to blow out <laughs> birthday candles. You don't light them all. Some of them just don't want to light. We'll go like this. Hmm. We'll leave them on. What do you guys want me to do here? Like, what? Well, so I thought when we put them out... Are we done with this house? Now turn them off again. No. No. Meditate. I'm gonna meditate and we're done. We are done. But I do need to meditate to get my health back from earlier. You guys, I... I mean, I think putting them out did produce a different sound. Or maybe I was imagining it. I guess I was kind of half expecting to see something pop up like the cow. Remember? Creeping you out is fun. Do you think this is me creeped out? You've not seen anything. The sound is scripted when the candles go out. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Give me the loot. Hmm. Okay, we're safe. Oh, I could just see me diving into the sand. I... <laughs> ah... Yeah, this is my first playthrough, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Bear with the gifted stuff too. Blue knees is real. Y'all remember, I I did not sleep well for maybe like three or four weeks after that. And then on top of that, do you remember that weird fever dream I had about blue knees? I'll never recover. I'll never recover. Bear, you're not funny. That's still the worst game I've ever played. Actually, I need to go back to Shawnee. She did say to see us one more time if we want to. While it no longer says optional to meet her. You never played Madison? Voxhound, what's up? Welcome back in. Uncle is here. Did I dive off the bridge leading to... Yes, but I actually... Okay, so I thought that was going to be... I thought that was, I think that was almost the 69th death or something worse. Let me see where I can fast travel to get back. Yeah, optional Gwent, but also optional Shani. Shani. All right, let me get a good old girl, Rochi Poo. We haven't seen, uh, we haven't seen a nose trap guy in a while. You got boneless wings for dinner. Oh, you're willing to split them with Ginger? <laughs> She would gladly accept them. She will take any... She just loves chicken. Doesn't matter what it's like. Mm. Yeah, I rode the elevator because I fell into the water. And I thought it was going to be my last death, but apparently... You can have brutal fall damage, but you can fall at any height into water and survive it, even if it doesn't... Like, even if you couldn't survive... Uh, definitely hurt yourself in real life if you fell from that height. There's no way. That would be like smacking concrete from that height. Mom said if I'm good, she'll send me on the trailer treats. Oh shit. Hmm. What am I near? What your bones are stronger. That's fair. I'm every time somebody says they're stronger, it just makes me think of a uh, Harry Potter. Is it Harry Potter too? When his arm becomes his forearm like turns into like rubber. Thomas, I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you for the follow. The witch hunters defend us from monsters. The milk bones. Uh, Shawnee's home. Where is Shawnee's home? Because it doesn't actually pop up on the map. Mm. 
It looks like rubber. What do you mean? More flexible? Is that what just more flexible looks like to you? A streamer broke her tailbone at TwitchCon. Must have been painful. Also, breaking a tailbone, I can't... A lot of people do it snowboarding, too. Sniff for her home. It's closer to the water. It's a waterfront property. Of course it is. Which water? <laughs> is it rubber arm? I think it's exactly... Mm, it was her back. Oh my gosh. I don't think I heard about this. CZ, what's up? Welcome. Okay, like the one house to the right. Okay, so I'm basically here. Okay. Well, I just tried getting that one. That one was locked, but it might just be one to the side. This one. I bet it's this one. Yes. Honey, I'm home. If Yennefer hasn't killed you yet. Wait, I don't think this is it. Nope. This isn't it. Damn it, all of these homes look so similar. Um, I think it's to the other side. On the right side of that. Like you said, to the right. Have I been sleeping a lot? What the devil? Mm. Are you sure? Why did I put Quen on when I went up to see her? Because <laughs> I was afraid I was going to encounter Yen. Uh, is... It's not this one. Ooh. I was using protection. You never know. Run south the other way. Oh, like further. Further. Beyond this. Moon, what's up? Welcome back in and thank you so much for the hunter bits. Keep going south. All right. Keep on heading, heading south. This one. I thought it was one of these ones. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. <laughs> We've got a riser in our midst. Up here? Nope, wrong house. Keep going. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're doing... The book club ended up picking... I passed it? Oh, so it wasn't that home. It was this one? The medicine sign. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Um, we picked Mistborn. Yeah, we did Mistborn. Let me steal from her first. And then also remember to put protection on. Mm. That's right. I think Admor had talked about that before. That's right. Prescription. Brew crushed marigold and drink while hot thrice daily at mealtimes. Avoid all greasy foods and by no means... Drink alcohol in any form or duration of the treatment. This includes beer. But like... Oh! Oh! Well. It's more to steal. Oh, don't worry, Penguin Poggers. You came just in time. I'm a bear. <laughs> the bear. The bear. No, beer. 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 Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Which words does Maggie throw an accent on when she says it? The revenge of the latter? <laughs> beer, not bear. Oh, gosh. See, she sells seashells by the seashore. Not the animal, but the drink. Not to be confused with my crown and crown. <laughs> Brother. Oh, you guys got me. Now I'm just... I'm losing it. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah! These last years, I've missed you. <laughs> I some time to talk. Tell me where you've been, what you've done since you left Vizima. Oh, After our paths diverged? Mm. I'm a mere head. Well, the piece was brief, but I used it well. I think Went she already to told us this. Completed my doctorate, then I believe I did time in every field hospital and medics tent north of the Yuruga. Never could stand to be idle. That's true. I'm not a witcher. Not likely to live 150 years. Aww. Much shorter. So I try to use every bit wisely. Always did know what you wanted. True. Nothing's changed in that sense. It's something about her eyes. They gave her such beautiful eyes. I'm a sucker for green eyes. She sure did. Uh, don't worry. I missed you. Now play me in Gwent. 
I kind of want to bring up the wedding first. Gotta say, wedding was a great idea. Risley, we have a chance to rest, Lizard. get away from it all. It'd be good to do just that. Well, I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. Hope Vladimir's antics weren't too annoying. <laughs> uh, peculiar man, ghost, true, but I found him likable. He was actually pretty <laughs> likable. When he was alive. Said you needed to think things over. Have you? Yes. I decided you're incredibly sweet, but... But we're better off keeping things as they were. Damn. I keep getting rejected by her. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> ten you ways to dump a Geralt. They're likely to ship me off soon. Uh, besides, we tried once, and you know how that worked out. You're mm. right. But promise to share a bottle of wine with me from time to time. Of course. I tell you what, I'll keep one handy. That's what it says. I finally found a girl that knows what she wants. And she doesn't want me. I'm not what she wants. Damn it. <laughs> I just want somebody who can decide what's for dinner. All right. Well, with that, we'll leave her with the lasting memory of a friendly now, game of Gwen. Ask, <laughs> ask me now. She just wants, she wants a real just man. Nice. You ever play Gwent? Oh, Geralt. Oh. Geralt. Of course I play. What else is there to do come evening when one's among soldiers? Come on, let's lay them out. Uh, I shall whip my deck out. Chat can't decide. Chat can decide dinner. No, Chat does not get to decide dinner. You guys have me eating pizza every single night if it were up to y'all. She wants Gwent. Of course she... Geralt is off playing Gwent with that caster again. It's not even with that casta, it's with that Shawnee. Can you imagine the wrath? Okay, let's put, what does he do? Does he bring out all the brothers? Find any card with the same name. Ooh, that ain't bad. Whipping out the dicks. Possum, what's up? Welcome back in. It has been a while since we went. Okay, take the cow out. Oh, this is my, yeah, my Northern deck. Take the cow. Do we want to throw, uh, do I have, I think my deck's good. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm happy with this. No. <laughs> Bear with the gift is up to pizza time. No. <laughs> Chicky Chicky Lele, except Taco Bell Sundays. <laughs> None of them. You guys, I found like a meal prep company near me and I was like, I need, I just need to get these. Cause if I have it already made by the time I hop off stream, then I'll just cook my chicken and rice and I'll be happy. Dandelion card is in the deck. I thought I took the dandelion card deck out. Did I not? Shani would love my deck. That could be misconstrued with my accent. All right, start the game. D1 Gaming, welcome in and thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chicken and rice. Exactly. Bear, don't start this again. So some proper meal. <laughs> Yes, I don't just eat like Taco Bell all the time. I know it seems like that, but the days, like the three days that I'm not streaming at this time, I actually make dinner at like a normal hour <laughs> instead of like 9.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. You pizza last two days. Oh, all right. We can toss one of these. We can actually toss one of these as well because this will pull out all of the same. Nice. Okay. I like this. That's a powerful card. Mini Cooper with the gifted sub to boats and hoes. <laughs> boats and hoes. Wait! Is that who we're gonna get? Are we getting Olgrid? Olgrid. We're getting David Beckham. And so the game begins. Mm -hmm. 9.30 p.m. is a normal hour. You know, I went to yesterday. No, when I went to dinner the other day at like 5 p.m. Yeah, on Thursday. I went to dinner at 5 p.m. at a restaurant with some friends and Vloot. Vloot with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. What are you doing? And I love how the alert works now. Somehow it works all of a sudden. Vloot, thank you so much for the five gifted subs and anybody that got one. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. 
Irate's here! Andy with the gifted sub as well, and Irate Panda, I haven't seen you in so long! Thank you for the gifted sub to possible. Collab with Dojo Cat? With Doja Cat? <laughs> Irate, it is so great to see you again. And Vintage with the gifted sub as well to KA. Kate. Guys, thank you for the gifted subs, truly. I'm Freddy, welcome back. Okay, let me wreck this. Let me wreck her. We left her once. I won't do it again. At least not with a- I left her with a bad memory, okay? The sex on the boat was not the memory you want to be left with. Now Getty and Pee Pee smacked and Gwent, that's another story. Mm, I love Doja. Anon with the gifted sub to Irate Panda and also to Freddy as well. Okay, we just have to beat this out. <laughs> I'm gonna use all of these. <laughs> Wait, oh, it doesn't pull. Wait, what? Darkness is different than the other one? Or is it reverse? If you find him, then you can place him and get all three of those with it too? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nan, thank you for the gifted subs. All right, it's a flipperoo. Gotcha, that's okay. Uh, I can still, I can still do this. I think we should definitely scoop up the victory here. Ah. Jack. Jack. Let's do this. Pass. Win. Wreck out with your deck out. <laughs> I hate you guys. It's time to wreck out with your deck out. <laughs> I hope that she recovers some of those spies to make this interesting. Sweaty Dom Life, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. And Novin with the 300 bits. Why is there a scam tram? I couldn't resist. <laughs> Novin, thank you. No, nobody said trouser snakes. Get out of here. Yaskir, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Mm -hmm. All right, place these two on top. Give me a spy. There's not a poll for my dinner, guys. I'm not getting anything else. Although, I do need to get a... I do have to get a uh, cactus blossom because of Robert at some time. Shani won't be able to... <laughs> I'm not gonna even entertain that sentence. I... <laughs> Don't make me blush. There's a poll right now, apparently. Finishing stream after Gwent. We still have the rest of the story. Why are you guys trying to... John Bovey, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row and welcome back in too. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are already trying to rush off. This is how much I play Gwent that I don't even have to actively pay attention to it. <laughs> but I will make mistakes. I might not actively pay attention to it, but I will make mistakes. Bring back another spy. Bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> what happened? It's like I... Uh, we're talking about food right now. This time we got a jet. Well, I definitely do want to, I know that it's the last, it's the season finale of Last of Us, so I won't go beyond nine, but I think we still have a decent amount to do. All right, it's time to just wreck her. She's using her power. Flute. Blue, thank you so much for another five gifted subs to the channel and community. And no, I'm not getting a 52 people's a Taco Bell injection. Blue, thank you so much for all the gifted subs. You guys are being bananas today. I do not need a Taco Bell injection. I need a Gwen injection and that's it. It's actually going to be an interesting round. I could just ba I could make it fun and prolong it to a third round, but I can win based off of cards alone. Stop playing with your food and finish her. Finisher. All right, fine. If you say so. Uh, what's on my deck? Uh, this is rough. I unfortunately would scorch myself, so I'm gonna need to rely on this guy. The hot went injection. <laughs> when you pick up Chinese food, and then I overheard my brother saying what? Oh. Well, then that's perfect. Oh wait, hold on. This should take out her ten. Nice. Okay. Touche. Bear with the gifted sub to get your deck out. Two scorches? 
Only a... <laughs> okay. Two scorches. Stop playing with your food and finally finish them. Finish it. Brad Frat. What are you guys doing, Brad Frat? Thank you for the 100 bits as well. The fact I just like... How do you find the weirdest names, Bear? And Bushman, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Y'all. <laughs> so I think the best course of action here would actually be to... Oh, here it is. These are good guys, but I can actually resurrect both my catapults and also leader perk that too. And I won't be wrecking her as badly as I wanted to, but this is okay. It's still over 100. I mean, that's still pretty bad. Break their soul and eat their heart. Basically, she won't be thinking of anybody else's deck. Let me tell you that. So good, I'd say you spend more time chatting up folk for games than you do on serious matters. Nah, got lucky. That's oh, all. Oh, she's <laughs> right. Like me. But here. <laughs> I dare say, a formidable card from an old friend. So you won't have to rely entirely on luck. Shawnee just summarized the entire game for y'all. <laughs> I've never been wrecked with one sentence like that before. <laughs> Ah, uh, bread me like Heimdall. See you later. Andy. <laughs> I feel personally victimized. Uh, okay. You wrecked her and she wrecked me. I won't be thinking of anybody else's insults after that one, I'll tell you that. Uh, she said, it appears you play more time chatting folk up for a game than you do on serious matters, right? <laughs> Load, thank you so much for the 100 bits and London with the thousand bits as well. Shawnee hitting us with the Shawnee like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Who started this? I hate whoever started this. I can't get it out of my head. Yes, London, thank you for the thousand bits. Shawnee just wrecked me in probably the most painful way possible. It was, a, once again, that was like number three of how to reject me. <laughs> now that you have two computers, you can set up the old one for Gwent and play it pretending to be on the new computer. <laughs> Night City, what's up? Welcome back in and thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row as well. All right, guys, it is time to finish this. And then I think we'll go to Tucson. I think I just want to start it so we can go to Tucson. Sorry, I added the T at the end of the first time I said it, but Tucson. Tucson. She's a doctor after all. She can sense addicts. I'm like, mm, <laughs> I need Gwen. <laughs> Taco Bell or Gwent once a day is a mandatory thing. Okay, guys, let me run to the bathroom real quick. I have not got it. It's been almost four hours and I have been hydrating this whole time. So something is wrong with me. I will be right back. Give me a second. See, I feel like it's like, I will say that you forget how heavy like a headset is compared to just having the earbuds. Woo. It's also a sound adjustment when you don't have them on. Guys, I'll be right back. I failed. I think she's all the way downstairs. Never fail, thanks for trying. <laughs> she just kind of wanders off. She usually tries to find like a nice dark spot at this time of night. Just sleeps there for the rest of it. All right, wait, why are we <laughs> Let's not start the quotes because 99% of them are taken while playing golf with friends. And no. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for the hype train as well. All right, so. I think this is in fact the end, but yeah, I'd like to at least start. No, maybe I shouldn't even start it. I don't know. Okay, well, let's wait. Uh, let me just path track. Okay, we're gonna head north. Whatsoever a man soweth, he reapeth. Mm, then carrying a brick around. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, what is this? Hmm. Play Gwen equals one gifted song. <laughs> no shot. You can't. Move it. Mm. One does not simply tell me when to play Gwen. Unless he play he should play us, actually. Biotics, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around and have fun. I hope anybody who set it out for The Last of Us, I hope you guys have a great. Wait, did they move up the date? Wait, is it actually it's about to be eight. But did they move it up because of because we went back an hour, is it actually starting in nine minutes? 
Whoa there, Roach. The ending is not super long, but it's really good. Gunner, what's up? Welcome back in. I didn't realize if they changed. Oh, so it's starting in nine minutes. Ah, I thought they. I would have thought that they would have moved it back. Okay, no, that makes sense. Sorry, we moved forward, but yeah. But still, my thing says it's about to be eight, but they kept it with the original what it was. That's not what I meant to do. Y'all, if you're headed out, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. I know, I don't even know anymore at this point. That's okay. Inside of here. <laughs> Jing, for what? Yes, the last episode. Oh, no! Okay, it wouldn't have been bad if I fell. Yes, Miss Morn is the first book. Are you starting at Biotics or have you already? I think you said you already read it, right? Baseball. He caught it with one hand. Hmm. I can't believe it's already. Nope. I went the wrong way. What? Wait a minute. How did I. No, we're going the right way. I think we need to go. Yeah. It's pathing us this way. Courtney, what's up? Welcome back in. Yeah, this is right. That's what I've been hearing. It's my first Brandon Sanderson novel. So I'm really excited for us to talk about it as well. I can't wait to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions on it. Mm -hmm. Only 43 minutes for what? This is where it ends? Remember when I came here early? I stumbled upon this place. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Strange choice of locale. Guessing mm. there's a reason for it. 100% Anna, nice girl. Just catering to your love of the arts. Not my choice. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Hmm. Fulfilled your third wish. What is this? A canvas. And on it, your house, your wife, and the rose you gave her that day. This is not what I asked for. Phrased your wish wrong. Not the first time. <gasps> Emote this only mods? Downfall. Thanks, Doug. So beautiful. She looks alive. She is, in a way. Iris painted this, then entered it. What? How? She loved you and wanted to be close. It definitely wasn't the latter, or the third. She did just want to be close to him in the end when she was talking about it. Remember her dream? I don't know. She loved you. Maybe she just wanted to be close again. She wished to be close. After all the past. Mm -hmm. I... Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. That's what happens when you do deals What's with the devil. I feel as though... As though... A hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's mind. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less trouble? Lighter in the heart? Mm. Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? What? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? Oh. What? 
master no. of trickery. We we had a pact. The moon is there. There. No. Here. You I went gave specific. You what you for. Here on the moon, our contract you fulfill. Awesome. You cheated me. I never cheat. <sighs> He has to live with the consequence. He made those choices. I'm not getting involved with it. I don't want to be on the wrong side of that. Don't look at me like that, chat. Mm-mm. At last. Unless, could we have challenged him? We must meet again one day. I wonder if we could Business challenge him. You is pure pleasure. Gonna remove the brand. Ah, right away. Done. I want to see if I could challenge him. Now, tell me what reward you've chosen. Oh, uh, I want to kind of go back and see if I could challenge him in like a game of Gwen. Is that what you could have done? Want to be swift as the wind? Never want to go hungry again. I don't want anything from you. I definitely don't want anything don't from want you. A thing from you. Are you certain? Don't look at me I like am that. capable of a great deal. Never been more sure. Woo! Viper. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look very uh Okay, wait. I do want to go back and I want to see the other. Yeah, I do. We're going to rewind and just see the other one because we're ending either way. We're going to see what happens if I try to challenge him. In that exact moment, I know that we did the optional thing where we know that there's a way to beat him. Don't say anything yet. Don't say anything yet, guys. Please don't spoil it. Um, I do feel like he needs to live with the consequences. Like, he made that pack. And a lot of people suffered because he did, but I don't necessarily, I don't like that he's more cocky than ever because once again, he got what he wanted. So, okay, let's see what happens if we try to do this. I think I should have tried to stop him because I should have known that we could have challenged him like that one person had. But I didn't know Straight. if that was actually gonna, okay, not my choice. Wasn't. Let's see what happens. What is this? And then I want to hear okay, which one you guys got, no, like which one y'all no went for. Because I suppose doing so the optional she, one, what? doing the optional quest should have actually given you the foresight to try to stop him. Let me do this one real quick. Thanks. I want to see his response. What a mess we've made of it all. Mm. If I'd only known then how it would end. Okay, so he starts to feel again. So and then enter him. I like the stairway everyone. to heaven thing that you talked about. You forget. And we stand on the moon. Alright. Help him. Do it. Wait. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. Challenge him to you a grant game of wits. Is right. Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and old Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwen? Ah, uh, this would have been Don't so much more ethic. I should have done this to start really with. Oh. On a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do I it. know, possum. Hmm. Very well. We shall but do we it. We shall do this my way. But I actually really do like seeing both sides. I think that's cool. I think when you come, like, when it comes to ending a DLC, it's fun to see both. Is this where we killed that one? Uh, what's happening? You wish to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Oh, Solid. shoot. 
And both you this isn't and Gwent. Will be free. And yeah. if I don't... <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? <laughs> the riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain. And yet by some am shunned and disdain. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane. But no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile, and I shall grin. Mirror. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? Repeat the riddle, though. I want to be super sure. But I don't know about children delighting. Children delighting in a mirror. I mean, maybe if they're old people, maybe taking fright in it. I want to repeat it one more time. Didn't quite catch the riddle. Mind repeating it? To all things and men I, I appertain. appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Mm -hmm. Fondle and ogle me till no. you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. No, that wouldn't make sense. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. No. Cry. And I weep, yawn, and I sleep, smile, and yeah. I too shall A reflection. Would be a reflection? Let me hear the options, though. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. I hate riddles. I hate riddles so you much. You must I'm... find me before the sand and the hourglass runs out. Mm. Ready? Let's begin. begin. Find the solution to him. Find the solution. Sprint. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Okay. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Is there something I'm supposed to be discovered? Do I just need... Oh, uh, yeah, the children singing. What? I have to deal with specters? Okay, I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I have to... A well? Shoot, I don't have time to fight these specters. Oh my gosh. They're almost like jester specters. They remind me of jesters. Okay. Monsters oh. part of the deal. All right, I got my some world, back. My rules. This is a well. Cry and I weep. Yawn Smile. and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Mm. Something that repeats all I do. Oh, an echo. Maybe an echo? No, it would be a reflection. It's got to be a reflection. No dice. You can't. It's definitely. It's something that would Children be a reflection. Me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it! What are you? You do get uh, points back Don't after. Leave me here. Help me. This would have been more fun if we just played Gwent. What's up here? More specters, but the specters do give us time back. I think. Shawnee. Shawnee, hang on, I'm coming. No, 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 no! Don't be bothered with it. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. I do like seeing all of these though. Ah! Oh! Let's run that back real quick. I ran. <laughs> Does my gravity death's no no bounds? Jumbo. 
<laughs> Jumbo, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row and welcome back in, please. All right, put me back in, coach. All the way back here. Okay, find the solution. Let's run the opposite way, though. It is what a way is of buying place? more time, if you think about it. <laughs> you like it? You like? Plenty more where it came from. So I need to not be bothered with Just her. Just remember, you must find me before time. Let's try going out. left. We need to be able to get to the house, actually. I don't have to bother with those because uh, we can't go this way to begin with. Let me get back some time with the specters. Oh! Weren't part of the deal. Well, nice. My world, my I'm not gonna touch the well. Can I go up there? There's nothing up there. I think we knew, don't we need to go into the house to like a mirror or a reflection or something like that? Let's try going down this way or is this impassable? There might be something down there. There's something up there too. But let's go all the way to this way. Mm, there's something at the top of here. Spectre, really creepy spectre. I'm out. Bye. Oh, come on. You don't have to deal with the specter. I don't think foglets normally look like this. Or they're not foglets, I know, but they resemble them a little bit. Not this guy. This guy's totally different. The other little ones look like a foglet. This is a sword? What is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they mm. see one for the taking? <laughs> Through howling winds, pouring rain, yeah. life hanging by a thread. I think we need to get to the house. Which reminds me. I'm not looting it right now. Loot it? Are you serious? Take it? Guys, my time! Oh my goodness. But it's not what I need. Excalibur. Oh, it's the Viper Blade. That's actually really clever to make one of the final Viper, or the second set. You can only get it from getting this ending too. Very cool. Chat with the big saves. There is something up there, but I still, I stand by thinking we need to go to the house to where we can access a mirror or reflection of some sort. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Mm -mm. Children and uh, doesn't fit to nope. all things and men to the I house. Entertain. And yet by some am shunned and disdained, fondle and all. Some people don't insane. like mirrors or seeing their own reflection. Oh, oh, can oh. Cause me pain. You're doing what, could that be? what is that? A gravestone? All these specters are different too. Ah! You will never find me. Never. This is a... Oh my gosh, the poison? What is it? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm not fighting them. Not all the time for this. Come on, Geralt, ignore them. Get inside the home. Come on. Reflection mirror somewhere down here. Or upstairs. I think they just have a downstairs. Yes, yes. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. But maybe I'm focusing. <laughs> Calm down. It is mirror. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? Shoot. So it is mirror, and he's ow, dude, get up. There's so many different ones. There's no way it's this. Yep. So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. This one's not gonna work either. Doing that forever. Care to wager on it? Some bullshit. He says he doesn't cheat. The well could have shown a reflection though. So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. There's something I'm not Gotta picking up here. here. You won't shatter. Water. It's gotta be water of some sort. I need something like a well. Yeah. 
Maybe I need to go back to the well. Was it the well from the beginning? But there's nothing in here. Maybe I need to go all the way back to the well. At the beginning of the game. But what's up here? I haven't been up here. But this one's already broken. Okay, this is just gonna be a mess. I, oh my gosh, okay. It was the well to start with. So I need to go back. I don't know if I have enough time. Will he allow me to leave this place? Okay, you can't. Okay. I'm wasting so much time. I can't add water into it. I see this, but there's not water in it. No, I'm gonna lose it. It's right under my nose. It's not one of my signs. This is some bullshit. Okay, let me think about this real quick. I'm buying time, I'm buying time. Uh, every ending is an uh, Maybe I have to keep going this way. I wasted so much time by running back like this. There was more down here. No, it keeps taking you back here. How can I do this? Oh! We can't get back to the original one. There has to be water of some sort. I see the well right here, but it's not a sign thing. Aw, oh, this is gonna be killing me. <sighs> Talk about just in the nick of time. <laughs> I kept running away from it so many times. It wasn't until I stopped for a second and looked that there was a crack. And I was like, it's gotta be, my one of my signs had to help me in that moment. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's just that overthinking that Hello. I do. Any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely mm. rank vintage. <laughs> Rank vintage. You know what, though? Y'all get. Yeah, if you're headed it's out, no worries. It's good at last to taste something real. Mm. Uh, so, how about it? Tell me what the blazes just happened. I your saved your life. Gone. Guessing that's a good sign. I can't be killed. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm actually impressed that I got the riddle pretty quickly. Although. I mean, his name being Mirror, that's not that big of a surprise, but it was more reflection than I think the mirror itself, you know? It's much better ending. Why don't you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. Yeah, the, <sighs> the night part. It's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, mm -hmm. no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone. Not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savored the world like mm. never before. It was stronger, more uh, clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere... Side effect. Side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. 
And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Hmm. Will you tell me what happened? I, I go back and forth on this. I think that this is a good ending, but at the same time, like... He had somebody else come and save him for his own mistakes. And so many people suffered because of it. Like his wife being one, you know? I, he, th it's such an interesting character. Well, I want to talk about it with you guys. Yeah, in a second. Uh, we won. Master Mirror. Brother. Uh, the details don't matter. I beat him. You're free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. He know I'd reload. Mira took everything. Everything uh -huh. I loved. All I held dear. Hmm. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. Now. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness, what and he... defeat. My life is a ruin. I will tell you, if we're focusing just on Geralt, I think that this is a better ending because... I mean, it's kind of like... I'm sure either way, Odin would kind of want to be back, but at least this way... I mean, we kind of made an enemy out of him in a sort of way, but it's kind of a more joyous ending for Geralt because I think he would have felt really crummy knowing that Odin took pleasure in us just doing what he was told by him, you know? Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I was like, it's it goes both ways. Hun, I, I saw a stretch earlier too, I know. Uh, true, I don't envy you. No, I'm not going to give him any... I'm not going to make uh, him feel better about this. You, as the saying goes, like you careful what you wish for. Oh, yeah. I shall be. Believe me. Actually, I have a better idea. I'll never wish for anything again. <laughs> it's time I took fate into my own it's hands. True. Live life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. I'm not gonna wield that. Can't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else. You talking about David Beckham, Mr. Mojo? Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Casta, I'm not gonna wield oh. that also. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. We can bleed again. Blood. You needn't be. Iris, oh, okay. I'll Damn thank it. you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. I mean, if it is a better weapon, then I guess we can wield it. I actually would see it. Yeah, CZ. Uh, oh, that was so good. CZ, I actually agree. I almost feel like it might not even be him. Ma I, I would see it more as him, I think, being impressed by Geralt. Like in that way where he bested him and only few people best him. And so in a way, like it doesn't like he doesn't look at him like an equal, but I don't necessarily think that he's gonna like come back to seek revenge because he bested him that moment. If anything, I think that he probably holds that person in more respect in such a way, but wow, holy DLC. I know you guys said that both of the DLCs are really good. I can't possibly imagine how Blood and Wine beats this one because this really was incredible. I want to say it was a slow start at the beginning, but that was on me. That was because we, in one stream, we went straight from completing the game to starting this. And so I was still attached to the other characters and everything. And then as this one picked up and I started seeing like the main plot behind it, um, 
This one very much is endeared to me as well. Uh, you can ask. I know I, I, I will say that I don't know if I love doing it post game or pregame because you guys did say that that makes a difference in some of the voice lines, right? The quest line is the best in all of the gaming. We'll just leave him here for some background music. Blood and Wine was super fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to choose which one I like more, especially when one is so much longer than another. This feels very much like a DLC. You guys said it, that Blood and Wine is much more of its own game in a way, like with how long it is. So I almost think that you can't compare the two, given just the time that it takes behind both of them. Uh, Aethel and also Crab and anybody that followed before that, guys, thank you so much for the followers. There was also a posture check. It's an expansion. Blood and wine, there's just nothing like it. I know that I should probably travel to Tucson for the ending. However, I can't because I have to start the quest still. But I will tell you what. I... How long is blood and wine? London. London, thank you so much for the donation as well. And Hugo, thank you for the... That's the GG. Cast GG. Lugos, thank you so much for the subscription as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, what did you guys, what were your thoughts about this at the end and everything? It'll take roughly 30 hours, probably 40 for me. We have, so if you guys are new here as well, this is my first playthrough of it, and I am intending on doing the DLC. DJ, DJ, welcome back. And by the way, True Pain, thank you for the follow. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six streams we have six streams until bad ending what do you mean we have six streams until re4 so it should take about two to three weeks mm, agent what's up welcome in archer with the hydrate that's if i didn't pull longer streams and do more streams mm. Remember all the Gwent that you're going to play? That's true, too. I know, Nori. I know you're not. Uh, you bested, uh, you bested arguably. Hold on. Thoughts on this? You bested arguably one of the most frightening entities in the Witcher universe. Well played. I do want to bring that up that from the beginning, I told you guys that I felt like he had this like Cheshire kind of creepy smile. Um, I mean, you can tell right off the rip. He's not necessarily like a good character like he definitely has his own motives which clearly he does like he's so much more than that i wouldn't have guessed what he represents though aries i really wouldn't have rep i wouldn't have guessed that like right at the beginning they do that so well like how his character unfolds and everything maggie hates riddle so much she fell to her death lol cast a lol <laughs> Okay, I actually solved the riddle first before I fell to my death. Aries, thank you for the donation as well. Cam Natty, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. And Mini Cooper with 100 bits. Uh, there is a cave full of coins as much as you can carry. Wait, what? In the cave behind me or in what? My thoughts are that it's very interesting to rewatch the cutscenes with Olgrud up to this point because of the knowledge that he can't feel anything. Yes. So... I also think that going back and watching Iris and his relationship after he stops feeling is a little different too. I actually very quickly forgot he couldn't feel things, which obviously Heart of Stone, like I get that. But I forgot about that like halfway through it. It's true. It's easy to oversee that. I hated that riddle or reflection shows exactly what you're looking at, not something different. So I didn't really think it made sense. That's what threw me off. But then it was the fact. And then I also feel like children delight in their reflection, maybe like babies. But it, it threw me off with children. But then when it said older people dislike it somewhat and then fair maidens like it, that's when I was like, oh, like if you're pretty, you probably like like a mirror or something like that. And also he's the master of mirrors. There's a lot of great loot in the entire puzzle. Did I miss a cave full of gold? Gave there's a bunch of distractions. The so there was a, oh, I see what you're saying. In there, there was a cave full of gold. I'm just glad I got the blade, which we should test out. Let's look at the blade real quick. You're right. Let's look at this blade and we can put the, we can finally put the Viper gear on guys and we're going to be able to, I think the DLC is, makes it really clear that he's nothing but a victim of evil itself. Mm, but didn't he go out seeking evil in the first place and then i felt bad i felt really bad for the old guy that went blind because he was just going after a lead that somebody else told him but i guess curiosity you know interesting that the only supernatural godly entity we counter is evil 
Oh, don't tell Maggie she missed a Gwent card. No, there is a Gwent card in the challenge. Don't play with my heart like that. Salvation, thank you for the follow. I want to ask you guys this, honestly. Um, he only wanted to marry Iris. That is what he wanted from the beginning. And so he did whatever it took to be able to marry her, even like sell his soul, essentially. Oh, man, you're like, uh, he really did want her. It's funny at the beginning with that. I think it would be so interesting to replay this. Like I would pick up so many more things getting to see this DLC specifically a second time because I think that there's so many like Easter eggs and small things that they put in here. And it's just hard to consume this DLC, especially streaming as well, uh, when my attention is like all over the place. But rated with her with his brother, so no. Wait, rated with his brother. I mean, it's back and forth, right? I mean, no person is pure of all of their deeds, right? Like it is back and forth. I mean, it's very much a representation of, you know, I think we do good things and we do bad things. And it's really hard to pass judgment on another person and be like, they are just evil and they deserve what happened to them in the first ending that I got. Vladimir is an awesome part of this. Okay, so if I had to pick out of the three missions, I liked, I, I actually didn't like the third one as much as I thought I would. But I think that's because I was, at that point, I had forgotten a lot of important details that you should probably know going into the conversation with Iris. And I'm kind of disappointed in my choice now. Jog, thank you so much for the 300 bits as well. I know. I mean, yeah, you kind of have to. Odin gives such a great complex vibe. Both of them, ever all of them. That's what drives this DLC. He feels honest and possibly in moments kind while tricking in every word. True silver tongue. So maybe the positive feeling you or we have towards him is him being actually bamboozled. Yeah, I think a lot of us like seeing him getting like beat at the end, right? The wedding is probably my favorite one. I think the wedding was my favorite one, followed by Iris and then the the second one. I just didn't care that much for the second one. The wedding was definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. I didn't see where it was going when we were fighting the the toad also, by the way, y'all. That was interesting. Hmm, it does make me wonder how much better Blood and Wine storyline is gonna be. What rewards could you get? What were all the rewards you could get? He doesn't trick you. He tells you exactly what's going to happen. The fact that the player don't doesn't pick up on the small print is our problem, not his. Yes. Yeah, a hundred percent. It is also worth mentioning symbolism of the mirror. It's an internal struggle that he has more than anything. We are lost because of his heart of stone and... Oh! It's based off of a Polish legend. I did not know that. I mean, I, I could guess that now based on the game. Um, that's really cool. So they, they put their heart and soul into creating that DLC and it definitely shows. Ah, uh, yes, the second mission, the breaking in, yeah. That one was the auction house and everything was just so so for me. I actually feel like I consistently made probably the less mm, liked outcome in all three sections, except the first one because we chose to sleep with Shawnee. So I'm sure you guys were fine with that. But I do think like I picked the wrong brother. I wish I'd gotten them both killed so that we could have had the orphanage start up. I do wish I had ended the suffering of Iris. Um, so that is really interesting. And then my first choice was the bad choice at the ending there too. It's on a legend who made a pact with the devil to be granted magical powers and stated he'd be able to take his soul when he visits Rome as he never intended to. What? That is really cool. So did some of you guys, were you guys aware of the story, like the true story that it came from before you even played it? Or was this stuff that you guys looked up after? Years later, the devil finally caught up with him in an inn under the name of Rome. Clever, clever. Okay, so I need to ask you guys the question for anybody who stuck around past this. Would you guys, and I, I honestly, I, getting to the end of this, like I want to get started on the next DLC. So part of me wants to, mad out of hell, by the way, I do want to get started on the next DLC, but I also don't want to cut it halfway with RE4. You can do it. <laughs> I don't know how much would it take away from the DLC to pause it for like two weeks to play RE4. That's my question. I also don't think it would take us that long to play RE4, depending on if I play RE4 for my birthday or not. Mm, it would take a lot away. Not fine. It wouldn't be bad. It depends on when you pause it. Mild main quest or doing side quest. That's true too. 
I say start it. We have, I mean, because we have six streams before. Depends on when you pause it. I do agree with that. I mean, you could just go to Toussaint for a peek. Uh, I wouldn't want to start it today. I would definitely, because we have our stream tomorrow. Magical, start it, not much with the base game. You'll not forget all your Witcher habits. I definitely won't forget the Witcher habits. Um, and I think the story is fairly long as well. Could we not like dip our toes into the ne next DLC without going too far into the story? Like what if we did mostly side questing and then left the story for everything after RE4? Let this one sink in and then you don't rush the next one. It's fine if you pause. It won't take away from nothing. March birthday. Yes. How did you miss it if it doesn't go away? Wait, how do you miss it if it never goes away? You lose your momentum in the middle of a fairy tale. You lose your investment. That is true. I might lose the emotional connection to it. Uh, I want to start it and then not tonight. Like I'm not talking about tonight, but like tomorrow with what I pick up tomorrow. I think another side of me is thinking just wait on RE4. I mean, I already, I, I mean, I told you guys, this is a game that I'm most excited for. So part of me wants to play it right at when it comes out. But another side of me is like, well, what's waiting another week to play it, you know? I could just wait, finish out The Witcher completely, and then come back to RE4. I don't have to play RE4 like the day of, because I don't even stream Fridays anyway, so I'd be streaming it Saturday. Once I start it, you won't be able to stop. <laughs> you can travel to Tucson without doing any big story stuff. I still have to do the first quest, though. I don't think that I can just travel there right now. Mm. Playing through... Are you talking about RE4 or playing through this, through that, through the demo's out right now. I know the demo's out. I also don't want to just rush into doing a bunch of extra streams for the sake of, I need to put the Viper gear on for the sake of finishing this because that will not do it justice. I can promise you that. And that just leads to burnout. Um, give me that Viper gear, baby. I've had the wolf gear on this whole time. It feels so weird. The Gwent ring. <laughs> the intro for Toussaint isn't very long. Hmm. Would it be pull? Okay. Light blue. Welcome in. Or uh, light bright. Thanks for the follow and welcome in. That does look nice. Let's check out the blades too. Yes, the yes, the iris sword. Viper silver sword. It's crazy how much damage this does, by the way. Given how many games release nowadays, it's possibly a good idea to wait a few days to allow them release patches. That's a good point as well. Where's iris? Oh. Okay, you're right. That's a pretty good blade. That's pretty nice. Iris has a special ability? How? Oh, you guys did say she... Mm. I, I don't think Iris. I think, come on, Eileen. Uh. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's right here. It's like right in the front that says I'm wielding it. Uh, 50 is a relic. 37 wait, armor piercing. It already, whoa, hold on. Plus 50% attack power versus specters. I'm reading the harpy, sorry. Where is my, oh my gosh, it's, I'm sorry. This is when I know I need to go to bed. Weapon charges with energy during combat. When its color changes to red, a strong attack release. Oh, we need to test this out. I need to... F f uh, I need to place myself in a situation where I can actually fight somebody. I was reading the Harpy. Which, by the way, the Harpy's pretty good. The Harpy is pretty good. I feel sad to leave that. We'd have to go back over here to test it. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do... Mm, we're gonna raid Cat. By the way, she's doing a subathon, so I do want to go raid Sea Cat. Um... The Harpy does a lot of damage, but I also can add, I can add some other stuff too. We haven't raided Sea Cat in quite some time too. Uh, we, no, we're not going to go to Toussaint tonight. If we do Toussaint, I'm telling, sorry, Toussaint. If we're doing Toussaint, it will be tomorrow. But this is what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to just think on it. I'm going to sleep on it. And tomorrow we will either dive into the DLC. And I think that I'm just going to push back RE4 and complete this DLC. I want to do this game justice. I don't think I need time away from the game to make me enjoy the DLC more. I just know that I can't split the DLC between another game. Like I can't stop and go play something else. So we're either going to pick up with a whole new game tomorrow up until we play RE4. And then after RE4, we'll come back to this DLC 
or I will start this DLC tomorrow and that is what we will play until I finish it. And then we'll do RE4 whenever that is. But either way, I refuse to split up this. This game deserves, it honestly commands more respect for me. So I'm not going to do it a disservice and split it up. Y'all, holy cow, thank you so much for coming along with me on this DLC. As always, for giving me time out of your lives. That is the most important thing you guys can ever give to me. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of the DLC. I hope maybe you got some different uh, outcomes. You got to see something different from your playthrough. I think that's always fun when you're rewatching somebody else's um, playthrough. Maybe I gave you a new insight or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Any new faces and follows. Thank you guys so much. It's going to kick me. She's doing a subathon. Please go give her a cast of love. I will post the schedule in the discord. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.